you love cookies. Whee! This is so fun! Thanks for inviting me to the park today, guys. No problem. I'm starting to get hungry, though. I don't have any money. Well, Molly, that's unfortunate. You spent all of your allowance in Brookhaven. I know, but now I need a snack. Don't worry, Molly. I'm sure they'll give you some ice water at Starbrook's. Ice water? Oh. Well, let's go get something because I'm really hungry. Uh, Dizzy, can I borrow a couple dollars? Fine, Molly, I guess. Oh, you're the best sister ever. Starving so hungry. Gotta eat something right now. Hi, you. Welcome to Starbucks Coffee. I want to let you know that today we're giving away one free pumpkin spice wow. muffin. What? Today must be my lucky day. Oh, sorry. My sister and my friend are kind of slow. Um, They run way slower than me. I don't know why I'm so fast today. Oh, <laughs> maybe it's because you were so excited about our furry muffins. What? There's free muffins? Are you kidding me? Yeah, pumpkin spice ones too. Just in time for Thanksgiving. Whoa, that sounds delicious. And I'm most excited that I don't have to give Molly any money to buy anything. <laughs> Correction. I also need a um, pumpkin spice latte to match it. Ay, 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 all right, Molly, I'll pay. But you owe me one. Is it just me or do these muffins taste a little weird? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. I think they're delicious. Mm. Can we have another one? Sorry, only one per customer. Unless you want to pay for them, of course. I don't think they're good enough to pay for. What are you talking about? These pumpkin spice muffins are delish. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, that was so good. I want to eat it all over again. Except for now it's in my stomach, so I can't. <laughs> well, guys, I have to get going home. My mom said to be home by noon today. I'm going to help her do some cleaning. Ugh, boring. Well, it was nice hanging out with you, Brookie. Bye. I'll miss you guys. Wow, I'm glad I don't have to clean today. Me either, but let's head home. We can play some Roblox or something. Thanks for the free muffins. Have a great day. You too. Thanks for stopping in. See you next time. Um, you know I will. <laughs> Your coffee and stuff is the best ever. Come on, Daisy. Are you coming? Da Daisy? Okay, where did Daisy go? Did she seriously teleport home? She's always doing stuff like that. Mom, we're home. Oh, hey, girls. <laughs> I'm just eating one of these delicious free muffins from Starbucks. What? You were at Starbucks? We didn't see you there. Oh, yeah. I went by earlier today. Wait, you were at Starbucks? Yeah, we went to the park first with Brookie, like we told you, but then we got really hungry. So we were going for a snack, but they were giving out free muffins, so we got one for free. Yeah, but I still had to buy Molly a spiced latte. Yeah, it was so delicious. Thanks, Daisy. Ugh, my tummy feels kind of weird. Must be there was some fiber in those muffins. Oh, great, don't blow up the toilet, Molly. <laughs> no promises, Daisy. Hmm. This is delicious and also tastes a little bit weird. Aw, I don't think I'm going to eat the rest of this. Hey, look, Molly. It's your documentary on TV. Documentary? What's that? It means it's all about you. But it's a pig! Daisy! It's because you eat so much sweets and treats. You just eat like a pig. Like, like this. Daisy! Oh, my gosh. Daisy, get back here. Why, I yada. Girls, what are you doing? Oh, my stomach kind of hurts. Daisy! Daisy! Molly, I, I, I'm sorry, I swear I didn't mean to call you a pig. Maybe I'm gonna call you, um, um, I don't know, a very hungry for treats type person. That, that doesn't sound much better, Daisy! Girls, come here. Why are you two fighting? Because she called me a piggy. Daisy, that's not like you. <sighs> Daisy, that is very, very not nice. I've decided you're going to have a timeout. What? M -m -m me? I, I don't need a timeout. I never get a timeout. Oh, yeah. You're so perfect. Except for this time when you called me a piggy for eating too many treats. Now you got a timeout. Molly, don't tease your sister or you'll be sitting there with her. All right, Daisy. You do the crime, you do the time. Go to the timeout chair. I can't believe this. I I just got a timeout. Oh, my stomach is really hurting. Something was off about those pumpkin spice muffins. Um, as an off the hook? Yeah! Oh, I feel kind of dizzy and like, like, I need to go to the bathroom! Watch out! Mom, are you okay? Well, I can't believe it. I'm not okay. I, 
I I got a diamond! Don't cry about it, Daisy. It's only gonna make your sentence longer. I don't think that's a thing, Molly. These pigs are cute. I could be a pig. I don't care. <laughs> Ooh, Brook High is on. <sighs> Time to chill. We interrupt your Brook High to bring you breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Oh, I don't feel so good. Mom, there's breaking news. Okay. Well, is it zombieism? Because I sort of feel like a zombie. We just discovered that about a thousand people in Brookhaven have called 911 and what we think is an outbreak of food poisoning. We suggest not eating any pumpkin spice muffins from Starbrooks. They seem to be the culprit behind the food poisoning. The icing has gone bad. What? Daisy? We ate those! Ah! Oh my god, this is bad! This is so bad! Oh, tell me about it! Maybe mom just got the bad muffin because she looks awful. She thinks. Maybe I should call 911. Breaking news, breaking news. If you call 911, you're going to have a wait. The hospital is completely overrun with food poisoning patients. Try to wait it out at home. Oh, um, gee, Daisy? Daisy, w what's going on? Ah, my stomach. Well, I'm the only one that doesn't have it. What's wrong with me? I ate two of them. What? You ate two? Um, no, I only ate one. Molly! You took another muffin? It was only one free one for poor customer. Okay, but, um, actually, I just took the rest of Brookie's because she didn't want to eat it. She said it tasted funny, so I thought they were good. Oh, um, gee, Molly, how are you not sick? I don't know. I feel pretty fine, but you guys look terrible. I'm gonna go out in town and see if I'm the only one that didn't get it. Ding dong! Brookie! Are you home? Brookie? Molly, is that you? Brookie, what are you doing? Ew, you're barfing! Ugh. Did you hear? All of Brookhaven has food poisoning. Are you okay, Molly? Um, yeah, I'm fine. Oh my god, don't get in the toilet! That's terrible. Sorry, I sort of fell in there. I'm feeling kind of dizzy. When did your mom get home? She is home. She's up in bed, throwing up. Oh no! She ate the free muffin too! I ate two muffins and I'm not sick. <laughs> I always knew I had a stomach like a billy goat. I could eat tin cans and my stomach wouldn't get upset. <laughs> and tin cans. Molly, this is serious. Don't try to make me laugh. It'll make my stomach hurt. Oh, sorry about that, Brookie. Do you need to go to the hospital? Oh, I think so. Okay, I'll call 911. 911, what is your emergency? Dad, is that you? Molly, oh, whatever you do, don't eat this pumpkin spice muffin. Dad, did you go to Starbucks today? Molly, I have a cop. Of course, I went to the donut shop. But why did you eat a donut? You always eat a donut, Dad. I don't know, because they were free. Oh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Oh, Dad! Sorry, Gassy. Oh, now I'm gonna throw. Ugh. Dad, this is 911. I need an ambulance. Okay, address, please. Wait, is it for you? No, strangely enough, Dad, I'm okay. You didn't eat a muffin then. No, I ate the muffins, two of them, but I'm not sick. Oh, I don't understand. It's at Brookie's house. She and her mom, they need an ambulance. Someone right away. I hope you'll be okay, Dad. Okay, now I'm gonna call Daisy. Hello? Daisy, do you and Mom need an ambulance? Yes, send one. Okay, I'm sending one. Let me just text Dad. Send ambulance for Mom and Daisy too. This has been the craziest day of my life. Rookie, are you gonna be okay? I don't know, Molly. I think this might be the end for me. Ah, uh, Brookie, no one dies from food poisoning, I don't think. I don't know, my stomach feels like an alien's gonna rip out of it. Oh, wow. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm going to go check on my mom and sister. I'll be right back. Mom? Uh... Mom, have you turned into a zombie? Halloween's over. Uh... Okay, I'll be back to check on you, Mom. Daisy! Daisy, are you okay? I don't feel good! Wow, that was ear-shattering. Okay, I'm going to go back and check on Brookie. <sighs> this is too much. I can't be the only one that's not sick. Oh, I don't feel so good. I need to go home. What? No, you're the only doctor. You, 
Oh no, you went and got us pumpkin spice muffin on your lunch break, didn't you? Oh yeah. Here, you get to be doctor for today. <laughs> what? I don't know how to be a doctor. What should I do? Just give everybody Pepto Bismol. Well, um, gee. Hi, um, Dr. Molly here, coming to check you. What are you doing, Molly? Um, the doctor told me that, um, I had to be the doctor because all the doctors are sick. And I'm the only one in Brookhaven that didn't get food poisoning. Molly, you don't know how to be a doctor. Well, I'm all you've got, so do you want some medicine or not? Okay, you don't have to be mean about it. I am the sick one, you know. Sorry, I'm just a little stressed out. Being a doctor is hard work. Here you go, Brookie. Here's some Pepto-Bismol. This should make your tummy feel at least a little better. Oh, I hope so. All right, I'm going to go check on other patients. I'll be right back. La, 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 la. Daisy, go away! Oh, my gosh. She's going cray-cray right now. Here, look. I'm a doctor. What do you not? You are Molly, my sister. And an annoying sister with that. Oh, my stomach hurts. Ew, Daisy, you feel better? No, nothing makes it feel better. Well, this Pepto-Bismol will. That's all? That's all? A Pepto-Bismol chew? Ugh. I know, it's not very fun, but trust me, you're going to get better. Where's my third patient? Hello, we are taking patient number 6532 to the morgue. What? To the morgue? Sorry, I'm sick and I couldn't read that quite right. I meant we are taking her to a different room. <laughs> Sorry. Ah! Oh my God. This hospital has gone crazy. All right, I've got to go to a different room and um, give my mom the Pepto-Bismol. Okay, let's see what room they moved my mom into. Oh, room 126. Okay, perfect. Uh, Mom, you're drooling. I don't care. I'm too sick to care. Here, um, I've got some medicine for you. What? Molly, did you start doing your homework and become a super smart doctor? Um, yeah, sure. Here, take this medicine. Okay, ew, it tastes awful. Yeah, sorry about that. All right, my shift is over. I gave everybody their medicine, and now I need to go relax. That was just such crazy insaneness. I know exactly how I'll relax. <laughs> Since I didn't get sick from any of the pumpkin spice muffins, there's a bunch left with my name on them. Ooh, those are good. I don't know why everybody else got food poisoning. I didn't. Mm. All the more for me. <laughs> Delicious. Hey guys, there's a lot of dishes to do over here. Would anyone like to help me? But please? Sorry, honey, but this awesome show is on and it's <laughs> super funny. Hey, we were supposed to watch that together as a family. Well, Mom, it turns on at exactly 7 o'clock and you're still doing dishes, so sorry you have to miss out. Ooh. Mm, annoying. Oh, I finally got baby Kira down for the night. Now I can get some vacuuming done. Um, girls, would you mind picking up all of your stuff? Uh, Mom, uh, we're eating a snack right now. Correction, Molly, you're eating a giant snack. Molly? Wow. Oh, that was the ham that I was going to use for tomorrow night's dinner. Sorry, Mom, it looked like you'd make a delicious sandwich. Mm. Boy, was I right. Okay, well, the show is off now. Maybe you guys can help me pick up a little bit, you know, after you eat that giant sandwich, Molly. I'm kind of feeling hungry for a sandwich, too. Would you make me one, honey? Ugh. <laughs> Uh, please, I'm so hungry. Me too! You guys hardly ate any of your dinner. That's because, well, um, it was kind of... What she he's trying to say is, bleh, it was gross. Yeah. Oh, Molly, I wasn't going to say it that way. Fine, I'll make you all snacks since my dinner was so gross. Are you guys happy now? This popcorn's delicious. Mm. Dad and I are eating sandwiches that are bigger than us. I see that. <laughs> it's so good with the mustard. Mm. Oh no, baby Kira woke up again. Honey, is baby Kira okay? 
Yeah, she just needs another bottle. Wow, that kid is an eating machine. Yeah, she must be having a growth spurt. Finally, the kids are in bed, so now I can play some video games. Video games? Ugh, I don't get to have that downtime. Why not? You just have to take it. Yeah, apparently. But I don't have time to take it. I didn't get the chance to mow the grass today. You're gonna mow the grass at 9 o'clock at night? I don't see where I have a choice. Everything has to get done. Adulting. Ugh. This has been the longest day of my life. Ugh. Is that the sun coming up? Did I mow the grass all night long? Oh my gosh. Today is going to be now the longest day ever. Ooh. Hey, there you are. Mom, we're just waiting for breakfast. Um, You're five minutes late. What? I was up all night doing chores and mowing the grass and, and, and now you want breakfast? Uh, yeah, you are mom. Of course we do. Oh. <laughs> no need to cry, Mom. Just make breakfast for us, please. Yeah, honey, we're starving. That's it. I have had enough. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm not feeling so good. <gasps> what? Honey, are you okay? Uh-oh. No. I have to go sit on the couch. Oh. Oh, no. Who's gonna make us breakfast? You'll have to make them breakfast. But I always burn the toast in the toaster. Sorry, honey, but I think, um, I need to run to the bathroom. Mom? Oh, that was the garage. Oh, what am I doing? Where's my bathroom? Honey, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, I'm just gonna fake throwing up. Here we go. Blah! 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 Honey, are you throwing up? Now, I have to grab some pillows off of the bed. <gasps> Perfect. <laughs> never know. Honey, are you okay? I'm just not feeling well. I'm gonna lay in bed. Honey, are, are you feeling okay? Do you have the stomach bug? It's it's the morning. You're, you're supposed to be getting up now. I know. I just don't feel well. I feel like I did when I was pregnant with baby Kira. <gasps> Wait. What? What's that bump underneath the blankets? Honey, can you get out of bed for a minute? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Honey, why are you laying in bed? It's almost time for, for work. I... I... Uh, I... 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 Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're really struggling today, even more than me. Uh, Are you okay? Oh, he's planking. Um, yeah, uh, honey, you are taking a nap when you're not in bed. I think you might be, well, freaking out. Yeah, y y you look pregnant. Oh, well, maybe I should take a test. So, honey, what were the results? What happened? Well, I went into the bathroom and took a test, and, well, yes, I'm pregnant. Oh, this is actually amazing news. I'm going to be a dad again. Ah! You sure are. Wait, what? <gasps> Another baby? I hope it's a boy this time. What are you girls eating for breakfast? Hot dogs. It's all dad could make. What? All you have to do is put the hot dog in the microwave. It's breakfast, okay? La 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 gonna be a dad. Oh yeah, gonna be a dad again. Oh yeah, gonna be a dad. Wait a minute, diapers? So many diapers? I don't think about that. I'm gonna be a dad again. I'm gonna be a dad. Well, now that I'm pregnant, obviously I can't do all this work around here. Wait, what? <gasps> what? What? That's right. You guys are gonna have to do all the cooking, all the cleaning. I'm just gonna have to sit here and rest. But honey, but, but... No buts. Pregnant mom needs to rest. Gotta take good care of baby. Okay, we'll try our best to do everything around here, right girls? Well, we'll try. Uh oh Wow, this is a ton of work. I know, tell me about it. Look at all these dishes. Mm-hmm. Tell me about it. Honey, um, can I wash these white socks with this uh red shirt 
No. Absolutely not. Didn't you ever learn how to do laundry? Not really. First my mom did my laundry, and then you. Well, and now's the perfect time to figure it out. Mom, I'm making the grocery list. Is there anything you would like? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'd like some chocolate ice cream. I would like some peanut butter cupcakes. Wow. I would like some chocolate chip cookies. Whoa, can't tell you're pregnant or anything. <laughs> Gonna put on about 100 pounds this time, huh? What? I will not. Oh, whoops, wrong thing to say. Gotta take the trash out, bye. Who locked the door? I gotta get out of here. My wife's gonna, she's gonna kill me. <laughs> Mom, um, so what else do you need for the groceries? Ah, uh, just those things. Surprise me with the rest. Wow, it's been like nine months since I faked my pregnancy. I guess I better stick some more pillows in there so it looks more accurate. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do just fine. Honey, I'm home from work. Where are you? Oh, I was just in here taking a nap, you know, resting for the baby. Whoa, there you are. Oh, my God. What's going on with your stomach? What do you mean? <laughs> you know I'm in my final trimester. Honey, I think you might be having twins or maybe an alien. That's a giant stomach. Oh, I just want to touch the babies inside your tummy. No, 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 no. No touching my tummy. <laughs> the babies won't like that. Babies? Do you know something that I don't? Yes, honey. I went to the doctor today. I'm having twins. Ah! Oh, my God. I know, honey. Don't freak out too much. Come on, let's go have dinner. Mm. This light bulb needs changing. I'm still doing dishes nine months later. Uh -oh. Everybody, you're eating off of paper plates from now on. Holy macaroni and cheese. Look at the baby bump. Oh, my God. Mom, you're going to have like five babies in there. Maybe they have puppies. <laughs> Daisy, Mom can't have puppies. Well, that's what they look like when a mom and dog's going to have like 15 babies. Okay, okay, quit teasing your mom about her big fat tummy. What? No, it's the old baby. It's all baby. Okay, let's have dinner, everybody. Uh, Dad, are you making us dinner? Yeah, Dad, are you making us dinner? Oh, no, not again. Oh, I don't seem to fit between the chair and the, and the table. <laughs> My baby bump is squished. Be careful, honey. If you slam their heads up against the table, you might give them brain damage. You better sit on the couch. Okay. Here you go, honey. A nice, nutritious meal for the babies. I even put some cookies on there. Ooh, watermelon. My favorite. Man, these pillows in my shirt are so uncomfortable. Ugh, and I shouldn't have eaten so many Oreos for dessert. Ugh, my stomach really hurts. Well, honey, did, did you say your stomach really hurt? No, no, honey, go back to sleep. I'm fine. No, honey, I can't go back to sleep. It's been nine months and your stomach hurts. You know what this means. Come on, we have to go to the hospital. I didn't think about this part where I'd have to go to the hospital and actually have the babies. What are you talking about? Of course you're going to have to have our twins. <laughs> That's why you've been sitting around for nine months. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh, sure. L let's go. Oh, I can't get up. The babies are too heavy. I'll just have to stay here. Honey, seriously, get out of bed. We have to go. Come on, honey. Sit down in this wheelchair. I don't think I need that. I'm feeling fine. It was probably just a fart. <laughs> no, it's not a fart. The babies are coming. Come on. We have to get you inside. Ooh, I can barely move this wheelchair. You've put on a lot of weight with this pregnancy. What? No, no, I haven't. Honey, look at your tummy. Of course you have. Get out of the way. Pregnant woman on board. Twin babies. Honey, I think that I'm just fine. Like, I, I don't think that I'm pregnant anymore. Honey, you're so pregnant you don't even fit into the elevator. I don't think so. What? But, no, I, I think it just might have all been gas. For nine months and your stomach looking like that? I don't think so. You're having these babies, whether you like it or not. Who's this kid? Are you an intern? 
No, I'm your doctor. Wow. Now, what seems to be the issue? What do you mean, what seems to be the issue? Can you not look at her stomach? She's about to have babies! Okay, miss. No jumping around. Where are you going? <gasps> I don't think I need to have babies anymore. She's lost her mind. The babies are made her crazy or something. <laughs> Honey, get in here. You have to go into the labor room. Oh, God. How am I going to get out of this now? I mean, oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm not actually pregnant. What am I going to do? Okay, I'm just going to examine your tummy a little bit. Please hold still, Miss Acker. Oh, your stomach feels very funny. Let me give it a little push here. Oh, <laughs> a little pregnancy gas, I see. See, I, I don't need to have babies. I just had to fart, that's all. Honey, quit being so ridiculous. You're going to have twins. It's going to be okay. You've had, you've had, you know, other kids. You're going to be fine. Hmm. Your tummy seems very peculiar. Um, Mr. Acker, would you go get some coffee, please? It's going to be a pretty long night, I think. Are you going to be okay, honey? Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> the doctor will take good care of me. Okay. Now that he's gone, spill. Ow! I can see that there's just pillows stuffed up your shirt. Well, um, um, let me guess. He overworks you at home and your kids don't help or pitch in. Yeah? How did you know? I see this with women at least three times a week. <laughs> now, I'm just going to tell your husband that it was a giant gas bubble that's been trapped in your stomach for nine months. <coughs> don't worry. We'll just emphasize that he doesn't have to change any dirty diapers. Oh, thank you. You're the best doctor ever. Honey. Did you have the baby while I was out getting coffee? You weren't supposed to do that. Where is the baby? Um, Mr. Acker, we need to have a conversation. Oh. Well, what? Did, wait, why is that cat in here? Did you give birth to a cat? What? Honey, have you lost your mind? Of course I didn't give birth to a cat. Oh, it's an angry cat. Kind of glad it's not our kid. Mr. Acker, your wife had a serious case of gas bubble. <gasps> Wait, what? Where, where's my twin babies? There are no twin babies, honey. I just really had to fart. Wait, what? But, 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 <coughs> cute little names. I picked them all. Well, Mr. Acker, just think about it. No dirty diapers, no added expenses. This is going to save you so much time and money that it was just a fart. Honey, that was a big fart. I mean, <laughs> you could have just taken some gas X at any point in the nine months. Mr. Acker, I think your wife mm, probably got intense bouts of gas because she was forced to do all the work at home. That would give anybody indigestion. Uh oh. Oh, I, I didn't think about it like that. Uh, I'm sorry, honey. That's okay. You can make it up to me by getting me some flowers, getting me some DoorDash, and starting to help more around the house. Don't worry, honey. I will. But do you still want to have twins? Um, we'll think about it. Thanks, doctor. You're a real lifesaver. <laughs> My mom actually slept in later than me on a school day? Mom? Mom, are you okay? Are you sick? <coughs> Mom, what? Wait, what time is it? Mom, it's 7.23. What? Oh my gosh, I overslept. Oh, baby Kira got up like three times in the night. And, and I'm just so tired. And Mom, it's okay, but um, we probably need to go through the drive-thru for breakfast. Sounds good to me. McDonald's eggy cheesy sandwiches for everyone? Wow. Yep, totally, Mom. Okay, let me just um grab some clothes. I'll be right down there. Is your baby sister up? Yeah, she's already watching TV with um Daisy. They're probably watching cartoons or something. All right, I'll be down in like five seconds. No problem, Mom. I mean, we could just stay home from school today if you want. Molly, look at this. They're talking about something crazy going about booking. <gasps> Why are you watching the news? It interrupted the cartoons we were watching. Thanks so much, Bruce. It's me, Brittany, your Brookhaven news source. And today we are learning about a new illness that's going around Brookhaven. Uh, medical professionals say that it's really not any worse than the common cold. And if everyone washes their hands, you should be fine. Nobody panic, please. Just wash your 
hands. Back to you, Bruce. I yeah, just jumping around. Baby Kara, you have so much energy. CDC, there's nothing to worry about. They just said it's like the common cold. Wash your hands, you should be fine. I jump around a lot. I like to jump. Aww. Okay, girls, come on. We're gonna be late for school. Come on, come on, come on. Get in the car. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, mom, we're going. We're going. We're still stopping McDonald's, though, right? Uh, yeah, of course. I need coffee. Lots of it. I want Happy Meal. Sorry, baby Kira. They don't serve Happy Meals at 8 a.m. What? I don't like McDonald's. Why do you not have Happy Meals in the morning? Because they don't. You can only have them for lunch or dinner. You have to have an eggy cheesy sandwich. I want to. Okay, we don't have time to argue, girls. Come on, everybody in the car. Coming, Mom. I can't believe I overslept. It's okay, Mom. I'm not in any hurry to get to school. <laughs> I bet you aren't, Molly. But I don't want you to be late and get detention. Oh, man. The drive line is so long. Oh, what? There's a, there's a tourist bus? Oh, they're probably all inside right now. Why are they parked in the driveway? Because there was nowhere else in the parking lot that they could fit in, Mom. Ugh, there's like three cars ahead of us in the drive-thru. And there's a giant travel bus in inside. Oh, man, this is going to take forever to get our food. You guys are going to be so late for school. Huh? I'm not really minding, like I said. Well, I am. I've got tons of YouTube videos to make today. Wow. I need to get home and get to work. Mom, you can pull up. You're, like, so far away. I'm just giving that vacation bus a little bit of room. One time when I was driving through a drive-thru, they backed up into my bumper. Wow, yeah. That would be the worst Monday ever. It would be the Mondayest of Mondays. Besides this epic illness that's going around. Daisy, the news already said. It's just like the cold. If you just wash your hands, you'll be fine. Do you believe everything on the news? I don't. One eternity later. Welcome to McDonald's. Here's your food. <coughs> <coughs> Ew! Did she just cough on our breakfast sandwiches? Yeah, I think she did. Mom, get out of here. She's got that virus. We don't want it. Yeah, I don't want to eat someone else's germs. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh, not what I'm going to feed you girls before you go to school. I'll have to dig around in my purse and see if there's any snacks. I'm so hungry. Well, I have a chocolate bar that you guys can split. Oh, that'll have to do, Mom. Bye, girls. Have a great day. Yeah, if you could call school, great. Bye, Mom. Okay, baby Kira, we're at your daycare. Oh, you're going to be so having so much fun today. Your teacher told me it's bubble day. Oh, I got bubble day. Let go, Mommy. Wow, look at all the cars piled outside the emergency room. <gasps> Hello, can somebody help me? My baby, he's sick. I don't know what's wrong with him. He keeps coughing and... And I need some help. Oh, look at all these cars. I hope someone, someone's available to help my baby. Please, my baby's coughing and he's sick. Oh, I don't feel so good. I wonder what this is all about. Is this that little cold that they were talking about on the news? It doesn't seem like such a little cold to me. Seems like a lot of people are getting really sick if they have to be at the hospital. Time to make some YouTube videos. What game should I play today? Weird Strict Dad? Oh, that game totally kind of creeped me out. What? Oh, this computer's such a piece of junk. I thought when I upgraded from my Packard Bell that this would be so much better. Jeez, thanks, Mac. Wait, what? Okay, it's not my computer. It's actually a warning. Severe outbreak in Brookhaven? This little cold doesn't sound like such a little cold anymore. I better check the news. Hi, citizens of Brookhaven. It's me, Brittany, your friendly newscaster. And while it seems the illness has spread a little farther throughout Brookhaven, there's still no need to panic. That's what I said. No need to panic. Just wash your hands and everything will be fine. Put a smile on your face and... It's the end of days! I warned everyone this day was coming. What? What's this homeless guy doing here? Someone get this guy out of here. 
People, listen to me. This is going to destroy our town, just like it did other towns in Roblox. <gasps> Stay inside, lock your doors, or leave now while you still can. Um, this guy definitely has gone totally bonkers. Don't listen to him, guys. No need to panic. Would you not believe your innocent, sweet newscaster, Brittany? Don't believe this crazy guy. All right, somebody get him out of here. Come on, turn off the news feed. He's acting crazy. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Uh, hello? Honey, it's me. Honey, have you seen this crazy stuff going on at the police station too? Yes, something really strange is going on in Brookhaven. They haven't given me even that much information. But you're a police officer. They should tell you what's going on. All I know is this virus is spreading. I think you need to go get the girls. Yeah, I agree. Then go right back home and lock the door. And don't let anybody inside. Honey, is everything okay? Can you come home? I need to stay here at the station and help out with the other police officers. But go get the girls right now. I will, honey. Stay safe. You too. Bye. Daisy, there's mom! There's mom! Oh, thank goodness! Mom! Girls, what are you doing outside the school? Um, our teacher has gone a little bit, well, bonkers. <coughs> hungry. So hungry. <coughs> Holy guacamole! She must have the virus! Yeah, but don't worry, Mom. We didn't get near her. We were in the back of the classroom. All right, girls, get in the van. Come on. We need to go pick up your baby, sister. And quick. Yeah, something really crazy is going on here. I just knew this was going to happen. As a budding scientist, we see these sorts of things in our theories all the time. Wait, where is everybody at Baby Care's daycare? Uh, maybe they evacuated. Things have gotten kind of crazy around here. OMG. Girls, we have to find her. Don't worry, Mom. We will. We'll find her. Baby Kira? She's not in any of these cribs. Um, let me look over here, Mom. Okay, no, she's not over here, Weevil. Oh my gosh, where is she? Baby Kira? Baby Kira? <laughs> Mommy! <gasps> Baby Kira, are you okay? I I didn't heal because everybody was coughing and acting crazy. <coughs> Oh, it's okay, baby Kira. Come on. Mom's here, and Daisy's here, and I'm here. We're going to get out of here now. Come on. What? A police helicopter? That can't be good. Come on, girls. Get inside. They're sending helicopters all over the town. Dad said to stay inside and lock the doors. Don't open them for anyone. Whoa. This is cool. Hurry up, Molly. Lock the door. Okay, it's locked. We're safe, Mom. Everything's fine. Uh... Molly, did you not eat enough lunch? Your stomach's growling. Uh, that wasn't me. Uh... What was that sound? I don't know. It sounded like it was coming from upstairs. I so wish that was your stomach, Molly. Well, it's not. Sorry to disappoint. I'll go check. I'm kind of afraid, but since I'm the only grown-up here, I guess I have to be brave. Whoever it is, just know I'm armed. Mom, you have a mop. Well, it's all I had, okay? Shh. What's that awful smell? Ew. Wh what? What's that? <sighs> Girls, go back and get in the car. Hurry! But you just told us to come in here and lock the door. Girls, do what I say! Cheapers, creepers, I wish she'd make up her mind. All right, Daisy, come on. Let's go get back in the car. Oh, my gosh. I I, I can't open the door. Molly, hurry up. Mom said to hurry. Okay, I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. Do you think Mom's coming? Is everything okay? I get your boy. Yeah, yeah, you get your boy. Maybe here, just put on your seatbelt. Mom, hurry. I don't know what's going on, but it sounds like it's not good. I'm coming, girls. I'm coming. Mom, what's going on? Uh, did you find a rat up there or something? No. I found somebody infected with this virus. They were like, totally like a, like a, this is going to sound crazy, but like a zombie. You have to leave town. And I need to call your dad and tell him to hur hurry and meet us at the border. What? 
no answer. What's happening? I don't know, Daisy, but Mom can't get a hold of Dad. He'd want me to just take you guys somewhere else, to a new town. We're going to Blacksburg. Mom, do you need directions? Of course I do! I don't even... I don't live in Blacksburg! I don't know how to get there! Okay, just GPS and everything will be fine. Mom, um... I don't want to live in Blacksburg. Well, do you want to live where there's a zombie apocalypse? Not particularly. Exactly my point. What? There's some sort of police installation blocking the way out of Brookhaven. <gasps> oh my gosh. Why? I don't know. They want to keep us here. But the bigger question is, who put up this police tape? It looks ridiculous. <laughs> I did. Oh, that explains a lot. No one's allowed to cross over this border. If you live in Brookhaven, you're stuck here. <laughs> what? But, but there's a virus in... And you might have it. So no can do. Mom, um, he's not really looking at us. Yes, I am. No, no, you're not. I am looking at you. Okay, I can't really tell. But what I'm saying is, is that we can sneak past the line. Molly, I don't think so. There's probably more cops inside there. Uh-oh. Is that a person they have trapped back there? Wait, there's more than one. Hey, you're not supposed to cross police line. Yeah, okay, whatever. Hungry. So hungry. Oh, well, it's a good thing for you that I packed some pizza in my backpack. It may be a little smushed, but uh, it's still tasty. And you really look hungry, so I want you to have it. Ew. That smells gross. But your brain smells delicious. Ah! What? My brain? That's why I said don't cross police lines. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Mom. This wasn't the common cold. This is a giant apocalypse. Oh my god, Molly, go get in the car, quick. Mom, where are we gonna go? I wanna keep this place out in the forest. With an abandoned little cottage. I'm sure that no one's out there. My mom and dad used to take me there when I was camping, when we were camping as kids. And I don't think anybody knows about it but me and your dad. I hope we're safe there. Dad will know to meet us there. I just know it. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I heard that the zombies are cool. Oh, yeah, no. Zombies are not cool. Zombies are not cool. Two minutes to curtain. Two minutes to curtain. Oh my gosh, Melly. I'm so nervous. I, I've never been on stage performing before. Daisy, it's not really a performance, it's a spelling bee. You're gonna be fine, you're the smartest girl in school. I know, but I just get nervous when I'm on stage. I don't know, this could be really bad. I mean, what if I freeze? Daisy, spell freeze. F-R-E-E-Z-E. -E -E. You're not gonna freeze. Like I said, you're the smartest girl in school. You've got this. You've been studying for this spelling bee for like six months. I. I just don't want to end up in summer school. Daisy, you don't go to summer school because you aren't the best at the spelling bee. If you don't win the spelling bee, you don't have to go to summer school is what I'm trying to say. I just feel like I'm going to be an ignoramus, smiley. Daisy, you're freaking out for nothing. I'm going to go out to the audience because I'm actually an ignoramus, so I can't be in this spelling bee, but you are going to shine. Shine like a diamond. Welcome, everyone, to our annual spelling bee. This year, it's going to be even more challenging than any year previously. Ah, but I know we have some really amazing contestants, and someone is going home with one million Robux. Who wouldn't want that? So let's see who's going to win this spelling bee. Our first contestant is Charlotte. Charlotte earns straight A's all year round. She is such a smart girl, even in the summer. She's taking tests at home, given by her tutor. Say hello to Charlotte. Charlotte, I think you're gonna do great in the spelling bee today. Thank you, teacher. I really hope that I win. OMG, look at all those people out there. I'm kind of nervous. I have butterflies in my tummy. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Next contestant, Daisy, are you gonna come out on the stage? Um, uh, uh. Daisy, get out there! Okay, uh, oh boy, I'm so 
so nervous. Next we have Daisy. Oh, that's right. <laughs> my name is Daisy. Yep, yep, yep. Don't ask me how to spell it though right now because I'm kind of nervous. Oh, Daisy, you're going to do be, be doing fine in this competition, honey. Everything's going to be fine. Take a deep breath before you pass out on the stage. <sighs> no, not that deep of a breath because that would definitely make me pass out. Yes, just calm down, honey. Daisy is one of our star students here at Brookhaven High. She's a part of our gifted program. She does win the science fair every year. And we're excited to see how she does in this year's spelling bee. Lucy, you are our first contestant to have a word. Please spell the word supper. Supper, that's so easy. Supper, S-U-P-E-R, supper. I'm sorry, Lucy, but you spelled super, not supper. Supper is spelled S-U-P-P-E-R. So, you're eliminated. Okay, Charlotte, your word is headphones. Spell headphones, please. Headphones, H-E-A-D-P-H-O-N-E-S. Headphones. Very good. You've made it to round two, Charlotte. Daisy, you're our next contestant. I am? Um, I could just go in the back and, like, work the lighting or something for this show. Oh, she's quite funny today, isn't she, audience? <laughs> well, laugh! <laughs> Daisy, your word is Mississippi. Really? Someone had to spell supple and I get the word Mississippi? To remind everyone in the audience, our words are randomly picked and generated. It wasn't my choice, Daisy. Spell the word, please. M I S. Oh, wait, I gotta say the word. It's okay, Daisy. You didn't finish, so you can start over. Mississippi. M I S S I P I. Mississippi. Oh, Daisy, I'm so sorry. But you spelled it incorrectly. Wait, what? I can't believe it. I failed. I'm such a loser. <laughs> Daisy, it's okay. It was just one smelling bee. Mm, this pizza's delicious. I can't even think about anything else about it. I just did so bad. I'm so ignoramus. Daisy, you're still super smart. Now, come on, have some pizza. You're probably starving. I, I, okay, well, I am kind of hungry. I just can't believe it. How could this happen? Daisy, you're not perfect. That's how it could happen. You can't be the smartest all the time. Your brain would explode. I can't be the smartest. I want to be. Daisy, just have some pizza and chill. Mm, this pizza's good. See? Feeling better already, aren't you? You should just take it from me. Having a bad day? Eat a slice of pizza. Having an even worse day? Have a candy bar. I usually try to eat healthy, but this pizza is really good. And I'm feeling really sad right now. Yes, feel those carbs rushing into your bloodstream. Well, it is pretty good. I'm going to go get another slice. Daisy, you didn't even finish eating that one yet. I know, but I want to have one for the other hand. I'm just too hungry right now. Ah, oh, time for school already? Ugh. What is all this stuff? Oh my gosh, there's takeout food everywhere. Oh, that pizza does look kind of good though. Daisy, are you out of bed yet? No, Molly, not even. Daisy, seriously, you better get out of bed. What's wrong with you? Are you sick? You don't want to be late for school. You've never been late for school ever. Yeah, but I'm feeling kind of hungry. Holy guacamole, Daisy! Um, how late did you stay up last night? Pretty late. Did you eat all these uh snacks and takeout? Uh, yeah, why? I'm just having a really hard time right now. I mean, I always thought I was the smartest. Who am I even? Um, Daisy, maybe you should go back to your healthy lifestyle. Uh, eat something, you know, like an apple for breakfast. Nah, 
Have a sticky about eating one of these hot dogs. Don't they look delicious? Oh, maybe another slice of pizza. Mm, that's good. Yeah, floor pizza. <laughs> I'm not going to judge, Daisy, but whoa. You're eating even more than I normally do, and I eat a ton. But who cares, okay? This food makes me happy. Hey, Molly, good morning. Wow. Hey, Brooksters, um, what are you doing? Working out. I'm always working out in the morning because it makes me feel so healthy and good. Hey, where's Daisy? She's not sick, is she? No, she's still getting out of the car. Wait, what? Why? Did she forget her homework in there? No, it's just taking her a little longer than usual today. Why can't I get out the door? Uh, okay, maybe if I squeeze a little bit this way and a little bit... Uh, uh. Okay, finally, Jeepers. I think my car shrunk overnight. Wow, that's a long walk to the door. Uh, uh, okay, gotta stop and get my breath. One hour later. Almost there. Whew, that was a lot of work. I think I need another piece of pizza. Um, Daisy, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. This pizza's delicious. Even if it's leftover from last night. Um, yeah, Brookie, don't ask. What? What's the problem? The problem is, <laughs> you're a total fatty. Fatty? What? What you talking about? No, I'm not. You're still eating pizza as we speak. <gasps> um, Miss Sarah, that's rude. Don't tease Daisy. Yeah, she's just going through a rough time right now. What? Yeah, I think what your friend and your sister are saying is that they see you're fat too, but they're just too nice to say it. Ow. Are you guys serious? Why don't you say something? Um, well, it's kind of a touchy subject. Yeah, we still love you no matter what, Daisy. Uh, really, we do. OMG, are you serious right now? Everybody thinks I'm fat? Uh, oh. uh yeah, duh, because you are. What'd you do, stay up all night and eat cupcakes? Well, um, uh, yes, she did. Hi! Oh, whatever. <laughs> you thought you were going to get asked to the school dance. Not like that, loser. Oh my gosh, that was so rude. <laughs> this pizza is going to make me feel a lot better. I'm just having a really tough time right now, that's all. Daisy, are you in here? Why does it smell like pizza? Because I'm yeah. standing over the toilet eating a slice of pizza right as we speak. Um, ew. Can you come out here, please? Yeah, what is it? Look, Daisy, you used to eat so healthy and exercise and... Are you sure this is the lifestyle you want to live? Look, I'm super into fitness and stuff. I could train you if you want. I could turn you into a fitness baddie. Really? Yeah. Not all hope is lost, Daisy. Besides, do you feel your best self when you're eating junk food? No, but I don't feel like my best self anyway. I totally failed at the spelling bee. Daisy, it's okay to be imperfect. It really is. You can make mistakes, and it doesn't mean that you're not smart or worthy or amazing. Really? Yes! You're the coolest girl I know! Well, besides Molly. <laughs> but... You're both super cool, and you're both my BFFs. Aww. Thanks, Spooky. Yeah, let's do this. Let's turn me from fatty to baddie. Whoa, look at those Doritos and that pizza. And the Coke. Oh, those look so good. <clears throat> I don't think so, Daisy. You should eat an apple. But, but, okay, fine. Meet me after school in the gym. Wow. Oh, boy. This sounds a lot like torture. Pookie, over here, Daisy. Come on, let's pump this up. Um, no. I might have been just walking over there. Come on, Daisy, you can do this. Show me what you're made of. Are you going to be a baddie or not? Okay, fine, I'll try it. Holy guacamole, he's so heavy. Really? Then I suggest you lift two. Oh, I can't promise I won't complain. Next exercise. Come on, Daisy, you've got this. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, now I'd like you to run laps. Run, I can barely walk. Daisy, do you want this or not? Of course I do. Uh, uh, can I stop? No stopping, Daisy. K 
keep going. Move it, move it, move it, move it. Come on, girl, you can do it, do it, do it. Never give up and never surrender, cause you can do anything. Except for breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe right now. If you put your mind to it, whoa, 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 you can do it. Never give up and never surrender, cause you can do anything. Wow, it's been a month, Daisy, and look at you. You are doing amazing. Wow. Thank you. Yay. I got my healthy body back, my healthy mind back, and my healthy life back. So proud of you, Daisy. You've worked incredibly hard. Now, come on. Let's go take you for a special makeover. <laughs> hey, Bear. Daisy. Oh, my gosh. Look at you. You look so fit and healthy. Yeah, I've been working out just, just a little bit. <laughs> Give yourself the credit. You've been working out a lot. And now she's been eating healthy, taking super good care of herself, meditating. Oh, my gosh. She's doing amazing. Wow. And now she needs a makeover before the school dance. Oh, I'm your girl then. Go get in the chair. We're going to give you an amazing makeover. So, are you going to be a baddie tonight at the school dance? Yeah, I think it's so. I just, I don't know. I'm going to wear an amazing outfit. I think I'm going to do my hair. I'm just, I'm going to put on some makeup. I'm excited. You should be. Ugh, this music is terrible. <laughs> do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make Ooh. me cry? So, where's that fatty? Oh, you mean the baddie? <laughs> Daisy, is that you? That's right, Sarah. I'm a total baddie now. That's right, she looks amazing. She's so healthy. Do you really want to hurt me? Boo! Boo to everyone! You can't be prettier than me. Or, or cooler. Or, or a bigger baddie than me. And this music's terrible. I'm out of here. Bye! Yeah, bye! <laughs> that was awesome. Do you really Ooh. want to make me cry? The music, though, um, well, not so much. Yes! Look at my new gaming rig. It's all set up. It looks amazing. I can make YouTube videos so amazing with this. Wow. That's nice, Molly. <sighs> but now it's time to go to bed so we can get up for school in the morning. <laughs> Who cares about going to bed? I'm going to stay up all night long and play Roblox. Ooh. Molly, I wouldn't say that was a good idea. I have to. Look at me. I'm at noob status. I, I have to become a pro. <laughs> well, that's going to take about a year. What are you going to do? Stay awake that whole time? If I have to, I will. <laughs> Molly, you're so ridiculous. <sighs> oh, well, I'm going to bed because it's getting really late. Good luck not being a noob anymore. Thanks. I think I'm going to be great at this game. We're sorry. You're still a noob. What? I've been playing this game for two hours. I should be an expert by now. Ugh. I need something to keep me awake. I know. I'm a noob. Guess what? You were too. So For you, huh, Molly? Daisy, go away! Oh, Molly, did you stay up all night long? Yeah. How am I ever gonna make it through school today now? And I'm still a noob! <laughs> I guess you're just gonna have to drink lots and lots of coffee. Yeah, a good, good idea. Must get to school. Have to get to school. Can't get detention. Molly, come on, let's go! Um, Molly, 
Uh, did you forget something? Oh, man, my backpack! I'm just so tired. No, Molly, you're still wearing your pajamas. Oh, oh, man! Hold on a second! Hobie, we're gonna be late! Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold your horses! Molly, I really don't want to get attention because you decided to be late again! Oh, I'm just so tired. I can't believe I stayed up all night. And it didn't even work. I'm still a noob in Roblox. Molly, I think it's pretty safe to say you're always going to be a noob. Ooh. Gee, thanks. Daisy, wait! Stop a Starbucks! Really? You already drank like three cups of coffee. Yeah, but it's not enough. I need a shot of espresso. Stat! Where's the workers? Ugh. Doesn't anybody work here? Okay, I'll just make my own. Who knew that Starbucks would be self-checkout? Did you get enough of your coffee yet, Molly? Not even. I got this one, and I drank one when I was still inside. Molly, you're going to spend the entire school day in the bathroom. <laughs> Probably. But at least I'll be awake. Molly, would you like to join us for class? Or, um, do you need a nap like a little kindergartner? <laughs> Molly, wake up. Oh, yeah, she's totally getting detention again. Loser. Oh, yeah. oh, God. I gotta be an expert. I wanna be a new. <sighs> oh! Did she just fart in her sleep? That's so disgusting. Teacher, I wanna be excused. Oh, What's going on? Did, did, did I just fall asleep? Uh, yeah, Molly. And, um, you too. Yes. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Molly, I don't know why you're sleeping in class today, but I would suggest getting a good night's sleep tonight because you're going to get detention tomorrow if you can't stay awake. Class, you're dismissed for lunch. <laughs> Daisy was right. I am spending my entire day in the bathroom. Molly, are you okay? Are you getting sick or something? Yeah, she's getting sick of being a noob in Roblox. So she got a new gaming rig, stayed up all night trying to be, well, an expert at Roblox, and you can see what happened. Oh, Molly, you should have tried to get some sleep. Yeah, I think I learned my lesson, but right now I just need more caffeine. Like a lot more. Glug, 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 glug. Or I'm not going to make it through gym class today. Yeah, and today we get to swim in the pool. You love that, Molly. I know, but all I can think about right now is... Putting my head down on the pillow and... Oh, wake up! Don't fall asleep again! <laughs> I was actually sleeping while I was drinking this Coke. That's crazy. Unless you're a fish. Do fish drink water? And if they do, do they drink it while they're sleeping? That's a big question. I'm gonna have to research that. I didn't want to know for, like, real. Why not? That's a really cool question. Oh, Daisy. Do you ever do anything besides research and homework? Not really. It's my life. Wow. God, this thing's empty already. Now we need another one. Um, Molly, that is a lot of soda. <laughs> You're gonna get a tummy ache. Nah, I'll be fine. Glug, 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 glug. I'm finally feeling awake. Now come on, let's go to gym class. Molly, are you sure that you're okay? Fine. Molly, how many of those sodas did you drink? Um, seven? What? Molly, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I'm awake now, though. Come on, before we're late. <coughs> I have so much energy. I have so much energy. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? Everybody's asking me that all day. Of course I'm okay. Um, maybe you should drink less caffeine. Caffeine. Yeah, but then I would have been less awake. And now I'm ready to swim in the pool. La, 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 la. Okay, Molly. <laughs> I just found out that when you drink caffeine, you go crazy. <laughs> yeah, so whatever. All right, let's go to the um, pool and start gym class because I'm so excited. Hello, class. Today, we are going to be doing swimming. Swimming, swimming. You are so lucky that your school actually has a pool. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, can you make less noise? You're making my ears hurt. I can't help it, I can't help it, I can't help it. I drink seven sodas at gym. <laughs> OMG, I can't believe they even sell sodas in the lunchroom. That is so unhealthy. Where's Sarah? She didn't make it. Sarah is going to get her bathing suit. She'll be here soon. 
You worry about you, Molly, and let Sarah worry about Sarah. Everybody in the pool, please. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> that was really cold. The first thing I want you to do is swim from one side of the pool to the other, starting with Molly, then Brookie, then Daisy. Um, that's totally out of order. Just do what I said, please. Oh, our gym teacher can be so grunchy. Gr grumpy! Molly, you can't even talk right. I think you need to go home and go to bed. No, I'm full of energy. I've got this. <laughs> and back, Molly. I have so much energy, I should drink seven sodas every day. Ow! I would not recommend that, Molly. I would not recommend it. Okay, next, please. Brookie, that's you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> wow, look at her. She's good at swimming. I want to swim like that. Well, you have to practice, Molly. Holy guacamole. Brookie, you're like the fastest swimmer we have. And Daisy, let's see what you've got. Wow, Daisy, you've improved a lot with your swimming. Uh-oh. I think I have to go to the bathroom again. Teacher! 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 What? I have to go to the bathroom. No, there's no bathroom breaks until after class. If you were to get out with wet feet and slip on the floor and crack your head, that would be my responsibility. You'll have to hold it. If you even have to go and you're not trying to skip class, I will be well, Molly. I'm not trying to, really. I drank seven sodas at lunch and I had coffee this morning and I drank like so much stuff last night. I have to go to the bathroom for real. No, no, and no. Now more laps. Oh boy, I really have to go potty. Okay, there's one lap. Can I go now? Absolutely not. Mrs. Kramer, we need you to report to the principal's office. Mrs. Kramer, please report to the principal's office. <laughs> You're getting in trouble. Uh -oh. What? No, I'm not. I'm a teacher. I don't get the, in trouble with the principal. You seem kind of flustered, Mrs. Kramer. Maybe you are in trouble. You're going to get detention. <gasps> Do not get out of this pool while I'm gone. I'll be right back. Daisy, I really have to go potty. Molly, she said don't get out of the pool. What should I do then? I mean, I'm about to pee in my bathing suit. Yeah. No, Molly, don't do that. <laughs> what, I mean, the pool is full of water. No one would ever know. Ew, gross. I would know. I know, but I really have to go. Molly, I'm going to warn you now. If you pee in a public pool, they put dye in there that changes the color of the pool so everybody knows if you've peed. What? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. That's a myth. Oh, look. Gym class with a bunch of losers. Just my luck. Well, that's rude, Sarah. Ugh, I guess I better get in the water so I don't get detention. <laughs> Sarah, you made a huge splash. What are you trying to say, that I'm fat? What? No. Listen, loser. If we're going to share a lane, don't talk to me. Um, okay. The teacher should be back soon, though, so she might make you talk to me because, you know, teamwork and stuff, we're all on this swim team together. Oh, I really have to go to the bathroom. What am I going to do? Hold it, Molly. Hold what? Nothing. No one's going to even know. I mean, this pool is full of water. They're not going to know if I just, you know, go pee in here. Wow, this water was freezing, and now it's, like, really warm. <laughs> yeah, sure is. <sighs> oh, this water got really warm all of a sudden. Yeah. What is that water? Molly, you didn't. What? What, me? No, I, I didn't do anything. Molly, did you pee in the pool? Uh -oh. I'm out of here. Gross, Molly. Well, I told the teacher I, I had to go. What? Did you pee in the pool? Oh my god, that's disgusting. I'm going to tell everybody on Snapchat. Uh, guys, I don't see where it's that bad. I mean, it's just over there a little bit. Molly, gross! I, I don't even want to be here. I'm out of here. <coughs> well, I told a mean gym teacher that I had to go to the bathroom. She didn't believe me. Mean gym teacher, huh? Oh, uh, um, Mrs. Kramer, yeah, uh... 
What is that in the pool? <gasps> Did someone pee in the pool? I told you, Molly, that the water changes a different color if pee is in it. Who did this? Well, I told you I had to go to the bathroom and you didn't believe me. I cannot believe this. We're going to have to empty the pool now. Clean everything. Start all over. Well, maybe I should listen to students when we have to go to the bathroom. Oh, this means we're going to miss swimming. And the swim team's going to lose because of you. Well, it's not my fault I had to go to the bathroom. Uh, Molly, maybe you shouldn't have stayed up so late so that you didn't have to drink seven sodas, three coffees, and everything else in sight. Okay, well, whatever, but I still have to go to the bathroom. And actually, I kind of have to go again. <laughs> it says the bathroom's a long walk, and this already has pee in it. I guess we just go here. Ah. Oh, detention for the rest of your life. That's okay. I'm used to having detention for my entire life anyway. <sighs> so much better. Ew, Molly, that's gross. Hey, everybody, I'm making this Snapchat because the school pool has been closed down due to Molly Acker peeing in it. Y'all should make sure to make fun of her when you see her after school today. What a loser. Oh, I'm so glad the school day is over. Tonight, I'm not going to stay up all night playing Roblox. Oh, look! There's Molly! She's so cool! Just kidding! She's the loser who pees in the pool! Hey there, Sprinkles! Ugh! Today's been the worst day of my life! Oh, I can't wait to go home. Molly, are you playing that game again? Are you serious? Ugh! This is so annoying! I don't want to be a noob anymore! Obviously, you're going to be a noob for the rest of your life! You cannot stay up late again tonight! Go to bed, Molly. It's bedtime. Okay, just just a few more minutes. Just just a couple more minutes. Ay ay ay. Should never learn. Good night, Molly. Ah, uh -huh, yep, yep. I'll be going to bed in a minute. So what? So I'm a noob. Guess what? Guess you what? were too. So what? So I'm what? a noob. Guess what? Guess Gonna what? be better than you. Sitting here sweating. Yeah, I'm burning my eye, 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 eye. Good morning, class. Everyone, please take out your math workbooks. What's this? Like the video? Equals a cookie? Molly, Daisy, did you write this about your YouTube channel on the board? I know you're famous, but seriously, can you pay attention to school when you're here? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, while I'm talking to you guys, I just want to tell you also that we have a new student coming today and I expect you all to be very nice to her. When she says it like that, it means the new student is like really ugly and no one should make fun of her for it. Sarah, that wasn't a very nice thing to say. Would you like a detention for being rude? Uh, not really. Okay, here comes the new student, everybody. All right, everyone, please be very friendly to our new student, Rachel. Hi, everyone. I'm Rachel, and um, I just moved here, and I'm really excited to get to know everybody. Wait, what? She's, like, super pretty. She's, like, prettier than me. Ugh, that makes me super mad. Everything makes you super mad, Sarah. You're the biggest grump in Brookhaven. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just really good at being a baddie, and you're being really good at being a loser. What? I'm not a loser. <laughs> you're totally a loser. Well, if it means I'm actually nice, and it's the opposite of you being rude, then I'll be a loser every day, all day. Rachel, you can sit by me if you want. I love your outfit and your hair and your makeup. Oh, thanks so much. What's your name? My name is Daisy, just like the flower. She's my sister. Uh, she's a little annoying, but she's a nice person. Molly, that's not the introduction that I was hoping for. Well, it is sort of true. <laughs> Rachel, you can sit by us at lunch if you want. Gee, thanks so much. You guys are super nice. Ooh, these apples are so good. Not as good as this pizza. Mm, so delicious. Molly, I thought you were going to try to eat something healthy for lunch. Pizza is healthy. I mean, it has cheese on it and... Molly, 
An apple would have been healthier. You're probably right, but the pizza tastes so delicious. Hey guys, um, can I still sit next to you? Of course you can, Rachel. Um, but first you might want to get some of this delicious pizza. My sister even said it's so good. Or you can try the healthy option of the apple. Hmm, such choices. What am I going to pick? Uh, I actually picked this, guys. The chicken looks really good. Yeah, but again, not as good as the pizza. So, Rachel, what town did you come from? Um, I came from Louisville. Whoa, that's really far from here. You girls seem really nice. I'm glad I'm making friends in my new school. I was a little worried that maybe I wouldn't. But why wouldn't you make friends? I mean, seriously, you're so beautiful. I bet you were like Miss America at your last school. Yeah, you seem like you'd be one of the popular girls. So I'm surprised that you're just so friendly. Oh, just because you're popular doesn't mean you're rude. In this school it does. Have you met Sarah? She was the rude girl in our class. Yeah, she seemed a little rude, I have to admit. Well, guys, I have to use the bathroom, and then I'm going to go study some. Um, thanks for having lunch with me. No problem. Hope to see you in our next class or around the school or something, Rachel. Nice meeting you, Rachel. See you in math class. What? The new girl is prettier than me? Is that what you just said? Well, I'm not making it up. She is really gorgeous. No one is prettier than me in this school. I think we should do some digging on this girl and see where she came from and who she is. Yeah, we can expose her for something to be embarrassing, but you don't want her to be more popular than we are. Uh -oh. Exactly. Oh, um, hi. Hi, you must be the new girl, Rachel. Sarah was just telling me how amazing you are. So pretty, smart, and nice. Really? Oh, <laughs> thank you. You probably don't want to talk to me because you guys are like super popular. Actually, we do want to talk to you. Uh, we just want to make you one of us. What? Um, I don't know about that. I've already sort of made friends with Molly and Daisy. Did you know that they're famous YouTubers? Yeah, that's so annoying about them, isn't it? They think they're the coolest people in the school. I didn't get the impression that they thought they were the coolest at all. I thought they were really down to earth. Molly was super funny. Daisy was really sweet. Well, she's not. She's actually kind of annoying. She thinks she's so smart all the time. Well, she did seem pretty smart to me. Oh, well, I came from um, Blocks... I mean, um, Louisville. Did you just say Blocksburg? No, <laughs> I don't even know where Blocksburg is. Is that near here? <laughs> I said Louisville. Uh-huh, sure you did, Rachel. Well, see you later. Hmm. Now I know exactly where to look. She came from Bloxburg. She's a loser, I just know it. Let's Google her and see what we can find out. <gasps> Sarah, look at this. I just struck gold. Were you picking your nose? What? No. Ew. I was trying to show you this Snapchat of Rachel at her old school in Bloxburg. Uh -oh. <laughs> Some of the popular girls took this of her. She was a total loser. We can expose her. And then she won't seem so great and beautiful anymore, will she? <laughs> I knew there was a reason why I kept you in the baddies club with me, Tiffany. Yeah, we're just too much alike, Sarah. <laughs> there she is, Sarah. Let's go tell her what we know. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Rachel, don't you look so perfect and popular? Yeah, except for we know the truth about you. Wait, what? What are you guys talking about? I'm trying to do some studying. We know you're from Bloxburg. What? No, I'm not. I told you I'm from Louisville. <laughs> I was super popular there. Everyone loved me. Uh-huh, sure. Then how do you explain this Snapchat of you. Um, that's my, um, dorky sister. Yeah. We know it's you, Rachel. And we're not afraid to expose who you used to be. We know that you were the biggest dork ever when you first came to Brookhaven. 
and we're not afraid to tell everyone. Wow, Brookhaven is so cool. I'm going to change everything about how I look. I don't want to be the biggest dork here like I was in Blacksburg. No one will know about my past life in Blacksburg. Everyone will just think I'm a popular girl here. It's a new start. We'll totally expose you unless you do exactly what we say, Rachel. Really? Why would you do that? That's so mean. Yeah, duh. We're baddies. Get a clue. So this is what you're going to do. We are tired of Molly and Daisy seeming like they are so cool because they're famous YouTubers. Yeah, it's so annoying, especially since they're such losers. You are going to be friends with them, and then you're going to help us expose them for the losers that they are. But they seem so nice. Why would you want to do that to them? Because we just said they annoy us. Ugh. If I really have to, I guess I'll do what you say. Uh-oh. Perfect. Now get going before we change our mind. Um, okay. I don't feel so good about this. <laughs> our plan is working perfectly. She'll figure out something that makes Molly and Daisy look like total losers, and then everyone will unsubscribe to their YouTube channels. Yeah. And we'll make Rachel look like she's the worst of them all. <laughs> Everyone will think she's so mean. Yeah, because she's too pretty to actually be popular. She would maybe, like, threaten our place as the most popular girls. She's too pretty and smart and nice. Exactly. We'll take them all down. All three of them. You and me, Tiffany. Baddies for life. Yeah, Sarah. Exactly. But who's the head of the baddies? I am, of course. What? I'm the head of the baddies. No. I'm the head of the baddies. And don't forget it. Molly, you do know that we have homework tonight, right? Yeah, but I want to watch the latest episode of Brook High and just chill. Huh. Wonder who that could be. Oh, Daisy, it's the new girl, Rachel. Hi, can I come in? Yeah, sure. Come on in, Rachel. Wait, how did you find out where we live? Oh, I just, um, I just asked some people at school. I just thought you guys were so cool, and you seemed like you were going to be really nice friends, so I don't know. I don't have any friends in Brookhaven yet, and I just thought, well, maybe we could hang out. Absolutely! Right, Daisy? Yeah, I'm just finishing up some of my homework right now, and then we could do something fun. So, what do you like to do for fun? You guys have um, your own room or whatever? Show it to me. Of course we have our own room. Well, actually, we have to share, but um, we don't, like, sleep on the couch or something. Oh, cool. Well, show me your room. All right, come with me. You guys have an elevator in your house? Oh, my God. That's super fancy. This is um, Daisy and I's room. We share it. And my baby sister, baby Kira, gets her own room. Isn't that ridiculous? She's a baby. <laughs> well, she probably gets her own room because... If she didn't, she'd keep you up all night crying and stuff. Yeah, that's what my mom said. But as soon as she's big enough, she's going to room with Daisy. What? No. Yeah, because I'm the oldest. Molly! I want the room because you always talk when I'm trying to do my homework. You guys fight so much. I can tell you guys are sisters. Yeah, my sister's annoying. My sister's an ignoramus. Guys, stop fighting. Seriously. So, uh, what kind of snacks do you have? Um, I don't know. I, I think we have some ice cream. Do you want an ice cream cone? Sure. I'll just hang out here. Oh, man. I forgot to ask Molly if you had anything to drink. I'm super thirsty. Don't worry, Rachel. I'll go get you something. No problem. Thank you. Finally, I'm alone. Now, let's see what kind of evidence I can dig up in their bedroom for Sarah and Tiffany. Ugh. Their room is, like, squeaky clean. There must be some sort of evidence somewhere. Is there anything in these drawers? <gasps> What's that? <gasps> oh, <gasps> it's Molly's diary. I wonder if Daisy has a diary, too. I know where I keep my diary. Under my pillow. <gasps> Her, too. <laughs> well, this should be exactly what Sarah and Tiffany need. 
Then maybe they can leave me alone. I don't want them to expose me that I was a total dork before I moved here. Isn't Rachel just so nice? She totally is. She asked me to get her a drink. Oh, she must have forgot to ask me. She did. What was that? Sounded like a door slamming. Rachel, I'm coming with your ice cream. Rachel, here's your ice cream. Where is she? I don't know. Maybe that door slamming was her going home. Oh my gosh, why? Do you think she doesn't want to be our friend? No, probably her mom called her, and she just had to go home and do her homework. Oh, suit yourself, Rachel. Mm. I'm going to eat your ice cream then. Mm. It's delicious. So, what did you find out for us, Rachel? Yeah, what did you find out? Or do we have to expose you? No, I got some really good stuff because I went over to their house <laughs> and they so easily fell for my tricks. I stole their diaries and wait till you read all of this juicy information. What? You stole their diaries? <laughs> wow, you're actually a pretty great baddie. What? I don't want to be a baddie. I want to be a goodie. Well, you could never be a part of our club anyway because you're not pretty enough. What? She is kind of pretty. Shut up, Tiffany. She's not pretty. Oh, yeah. You're ugly, Rachel. You could never be a part of our club. So listen to this juicy information, guys. And then please don't expose me. Please. I actually want to be popular and liked and not bullied at this school. Well, then I suggest you hand over the diaries. Uh oh Now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Molly says that she accidentally poo-pooed her pants on the school field trip. Oh, gross. I'm sure that when we expose all of these ridiculous and sad secrets, they're not even going to be popular on YouTube anymore. That's the plan. All right, Rachel, we're done with you. Get lost, loser. What? Y you're going to bully me now? Only if you keep standing in our face there, ugly. May I have your attention, please? Does that sound like Sarah over the loudspeaker? It sure does, Molly. I wonder what she's in the principal's office for. I have some very important information to read to you. <laughs> Everybody, make sure you're paying attention. Dear Diary, it's me, Molly. Today, when I was on a field trip, I had to go poo-poo really bad, and I didn't make it, and I had to wear the poo-poo pants from the school nurse's office that are from 1975. Haha, <laughs> it was super embarrassing. Next journal entry. Is she reading my diary to the entire school? Um, I think so, Molly. What? How did she get my diary? This one is from Daisy's diary. Dear diary, I failed one of my science tests. I didn't tell anybody because it was so humiliating. I just hid the test under my bed and never mentioned it to anyone. Except for when my sister Molly asked and I told her I got a hundred and then made her feel like an ignoramus because she didn't. Seriously, Daisy? You lied to me? I, I, hey, when I voted my diary is supposed to be private. I just can't believe you, Daisy. That was so rude. How would, wait a minute. How would she get our diaries? Exactly. Let's stop fighting and figure that out, Molly. Yeah, and then we can deal with the fact that you lied to me about your test after. Molly, okay, how would she get in there? The doors were locked. She didn't come over to our house. Who did come over to our house? Uh, let's see, there was that DoorDash guy, but he wouldn't have stolen our diary. Wait a minute. Rachel came over to our house. She seems so nice. She wouldn't do that, would she? Rachel. Um, uh, yeah, I just am going to the bathroom. <laughs> See you later. No. Rachel! Rachel! What? What is it? What do you want? Did you steal my diary? Did you steal Daisy's diary? Who, me? <laughs> um, why would I do that? I don't know. Because you're actually a baddie and not someone I want to be friends with? I thought you were really cool. I am really cool. It's just, 
Well, uh... So you did steal my diary! We can't be friends. You're not a nice person. It was her who stole our diaries, Daisy. What? Why? I don't know. I think she's a baddie. So now everyone should unsubscribe to their YouTube channels because they're total losers. They shouldn't be popular at all. I just can't believe it. Rachel's not the person I thought she was. Just goes to show when you think you know somebody, you have no idea. Molly, I think we judged her all along. She's actually a baddie. Totally, totally a baddie. Great job, loser. <laughs> you did exactly what we told you to do. Now, we need you to go expose something else about Molly and Daisy. We want to make sure they have negative subscribers. Yeah, why well, are you just sitting there? Because this doesn't feel right. I, I don't want to be a baddie. I want to be a good person. And, and I feel bad for taking their diaries. That was wrong of me. Now you're getting a conscience like whatever i'm gonna tell everybody that you were a total dork <laughs> loser that came from blocksburg well it's better than being a fake really i don't think so <laughs> everyone will tease you and bully you here okay well it seems like you guys are kind of bullying me and bossing me around anyway so what's the difference i'd rather just not be friends with anyone it just goes bad Wow, she's going to cry about it now. Yeah, she definitely can't fit into the baddies club. Worst day ever. Usually when I'm having a terrible day at school, this is where I go to hide. <laughs> oh, that a new student? Hi, are you okay? You don't want to talk to me. Um, why wouldn't I want to talk to you? Are you new here? My name's Molly. No, uh, well, yes, I'm sort of new here, but... You've met me before. What? No. I would have remembered you if I met you. Unless, of course, I was concentrating on eating pizza or playing Roblox. Then I may not have really noticed you. No, I... I... You hate me! What? I hate you? What are you talking about? I don't hate anybody. Yeah, I'm sure you won't like me. It's just... Because I did something really horrible and mean. Trying to fit in. Wait a minute. Rachel? Is that you? Yeah, this is my true form. By the way, I love SpongeBob. Why were you dressed like a baddie this whole time? Because I came from Blocksburg and I was a total dork there and I got bullied and everyone teased me for how I looked and, and what I said and the fact that I liked playing Roblox so much and... Wait, what? Yeah, and Sarah and... And Tiffany told me that if I didn't expose you guys and make you lose all your YouTube subscribers, that they would tell everybody I was a huge loser in my old town. What? They were bullying you two and manipulating you? Yeah, totally. I'm sorry. Can you ever forgive me? I don't know. You stole my diary. I'm sorry, Molly. It was a really bad thing to do. Yeah, it was. I forgive you, but I'm going to need you to prove to me that I can trust you if you want to be my friend. Don't worry, Molly. I'll show you that I could be a good person. I hope so, because so far all you've shown me is that you're not very nice. I let you into my house, and you stole something that was private of mine. I know. Man, I'm failing at not being a bad person at this new town. Yeah, but you can always turn it around, and I'm going to give you the opportunity to. Really? Yeah. And I hope someday you and I can be really close friends. Me too, Molly. Thanks for the second chance. Alarm's going off already? Ugh. I can't believe the night is over already. Feels like I just fell asleep. Feels like I want to go back to sleep. Ugh. Where's the snooze button? Where's the snooze button? Ugh. 
Uh, well, I guess it's time to get up. Daisy! Daisy! Huh, must be Daisy's not out of bed yet. Better go wake her up. Daisy! Oh, Daisy! Daisy, wake up! What are you talking about? Be quiet, servant! Servant? What, what are you talking about, Daisy? I'm not your servant. Get out of bed, lazy bones. Molly, be quiet. You're my servant, and servants are not supposed to be loud. Are you turning that light back off, Daisy? Um, yes, be quiet. Why are you calling me your servant? Daisy, leave the light on. I'm not your servant. Well, I'm a princess, and yes, you are. <laughs> You're a princess. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Since when did you become a princess? Since I got my online certification. Your online certification as a princess? <laughs> what are you wearing? My princess outfit, of course. Daisy, your princess outfit? Are you crazy right now? Nope, I got the email notification last night that I'm officially a princess. Oh, really? Um, show me this email. I don't believe it. Not for one second. Fine, but then you will act as my servant. Oh, my goodness. What's a princess got to do to just get a little respect around you? Okay, here it is. Dear Daisy, you are now officially a princess. See, told you. Who's this by? Online princess school? What? That's right. Now make me breakfast. This is ridiculous. I am not making you breakfast. Then you shall be banished from the Roblox kingdom. Okay, fine. I'll make you breakfast. I think this is more like a spoiled princess. And make it a good breakfast, Molly. I mean it. Okay, I'm going to make you a really good breakfast. Here it comes. <laughs> What's so funny, Molly? Now I have to be... Reading up on all of the proper princess etiquette. First, have a healthy breakfast. An example might be eggs and fruit. Or you take whatever I make you, which is this. Molly, are you serious? A black tart? Princesses don't eat black tarts. Well, this princess does. Or this princess can make her own breakfast. Rude servant, go to your servant quarters, or you will be banished from the kingdom. Ay ay ay. Okay, let me just take a black star to go. Absolutely not. Go to your dungeon. Dungeon? This doesn't seem very dungeony to me. Goodbye, princess. Oh my gosh, she's following me. Okay, I gotta hide. Servant, servant, there's a lot of laundry to do. Oh my god, could this princess be any more spoiled? Servant, where are you? What do you want? You slammed the door in the princess's face. In a minute, I'm going to slam the door to the outside on the princess's face. You better not. You wouldn't dare. You will go to the dungeon and be banished from the kingdom. Banished from the kingdom? Not sure. so sure that would be a bad thing. Do the laundry. Fine. Ew, it's really smelly. I will be outside relaxing. Don't bother me. Daisy, I don't like you as a princess. And I don't like having the burden of having to tell my servant to be a servant. Wow, could she be any more spoiled? Slam the like button if you think Daisy is the most spoiled princess on the planet. Oh, I can't believe I gotta do all these chores. Maybe I'll just like relax in the pool after I'm done. I can't deal with this spoiled princess one second more. <sighs> Whoa, water's cold, water's cold Servant, go and pay the bills A uh, princess, do you have any money? No, I'm a princess, why would I have money? Um, all of the riches belong to you You need to pay the bills No, you pay the bills Oh my gosh, now I'm the servant and I have to pay the bills? Why do I even put up with this? I'm moving to a new house You better not, servant I'll have them come after you and you'll be put in prison. See you later, spoiled princess brat. <laughs> That's it. And stay there until you can think about what you've done. Daisy, what are you doing? Why did you have why did you have your minions put me in here? 
because what the princess says, it goes, Molly, and uh, what I say goes, and I'm the princess. That's what I meant. Daisy, all I have in here is a toilet and a sleeping bag. Where's the cupcakes? Our servants don't get cupcakes, only princesses. Oh, man. Oh. I guess I'll just take a nap right next to the toilet. My life is terrible. What was that? What was that sound? Oh my gosh, I think there's rats or mice or something in here. Daisy, let me out! Daisy! Wait a minute. I think I can pick the lock. <laughs> I'm out of here. Let's go check on the Sylvan. See if she needs any gruel for lunch. <laughs> I'm gonna lock her out of the castle. Okay, where is she? I don't think she's in here. <gasps> Locking the door! <laughs> ah, best day ever. What? Servant! Open the door to the castle right this instant! I don't think so, you spoiled brat! <gasps> How dare you call the princess such names! Listen, princess! If you want a servant, find a new one! I live here because I'm the queen! <gasps> You are not! Uh-huh. I'm about to go get my certification right now. Let me in right this instant, Molly! Not a chance. Okay, online queen school. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of requirements here. Okay, I can do this. I can do this! <laughs> my... Online queen certification is complete. Oh, that took a really long time. Now I need a bath. <sighs> Molly, where are you? Oh, she's back to calling me Molly. <laughs> That's good. I just had the locksmith come and replace the locks on the door. Listen here, princess. Now I'm an official queen. Yeah, boy, you couldn't pass the classes. Really? Wanna bet? I have the email. Now, since the queen is most powerful, I demand you go sit in timeout for being such a spoiled brat. What? Me? In timeout? I can't. I'm such a pretty princess, I don't belong there. Go! Before the queen banishes you from the kingdom. Oh, brother. I know telling you where I got my princess certification from was a bad idea. <laughs> Queen Molly is now in charge of the entire kingdom! <laughs> P-I-G-G-Y A piggy is after me A P-I-G-G-Y A piggy won't you set me free Molly... How long has this plate been here? Ew! I don't know, maybe like a week or something. Hey, bring your dirty plates out to the kitchen. That's so gross. And also, I don't think you need to play the piggy game anymore today. Mom, I am about to dominate on this game. Molly, a break, please. Your brain is going to melt. Okay, fine. And don't forget to bring that gross plate out. Ew, I don't want to touch it. It's gross. What makes you think I want to touch it? You're the one that left it there. Ew. Okay, here we go, Mom. Here it is. Ah, <sighs> Thank you, Molly. Where's baby Kira, anyway? <laughs> she was taking a nap until you were really loud. I got you, Molly. I cute little baby. <laughs> I cute you, baby. Oh, are you repeating everything I am saying? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, so cute, baby Kira. Oh, so cute, baby Kira. Okay, you can stop copying me now. Ooh, muffins. Ooh, muffins. No, don't eat those, baby Kira. They're all mine. Molly, you can share with your sister. Don't eat those. They're all mine. Oh, very funny. Oh, my sister is copying everything I do. I'm going to hide in the bathroom. She won't know I'm in here. Molly, where are you? I hide too. No! No. Don't copy me. Don't copy me. Don't 
still driving me. Oh, you're driving me crazy. You're driving me crazy. OMG. Okay, I'm gonna jump on my bed just so I can like think about things for a minute. It'll help me. Ugh. Baby Kira! All right, I'm gonna run outside. Maybe she won't follow me. What's going on in there, girls? Nothing! Just trying to hide from my sister who's driving me crazy. Ah, <sighs> finally, some rest and relaxation. And no baby Kira. Molly, we back you, Molly! Ah, <sighs> she can't find me. Good. That means she can't copy me anymore. That means she can't copy me anymore. Oh my gosh, she can hear me. Okay, I need to be really quiet. Molly, fuck you. I copy everything you do. Don't copy everything I do. Oh, there you are. Don't copy everything I do. Wah! I don't sound like that. I don't sound like that. Oh, I can't fit. I'm too, I too big. I'm going to leave the hammock. No. No. Baby Kara, you're being very annoying. You're being very really annoying. Look at Molly. Ah! Oh my gosh. My toddler sister is driving me absolutely crazy. My daddy is driving me absolutely crazy. Daisy. Daisy, where are you? Daisy. What is the problem? I'm trying to do my makeup and stuff. Daisy. Seriously. I have a serious problem. Oh yeah, yeah. What is it? <sighs> Baby Kara is copying everything I do. Oh, wow. That sounds kind of annoying. It totally is. Please come out and talk to me about this, Daisy. I don't know what to do. Well, since you came to me for advice, I charge $20 an hour. You charge $20 an hour for advice? Yep, I sure do. You know, Molly, the highest compliment is when somebody copies you. It means they admire you. Well, Cupcake, that sounds fabulous that you're giving out advice, but you're a hamster, so I don't really trust your advice. Molly, don't be rude. I can't say what about that. Molly, don't be rude. <laughs> She's copying you now. What? No, I don't want her copying me. No, I don't want her copying me. Where is she anyway? Ah, uh, Daisy, she's listening to our conversation. Ah, uh, Daisy, she's listening to our conversation. Ah! Why are you copying everything? Wait, where are... There you are. I didn't even see you. You're so short. I don't like that you said I'm short. Molly, I have an idea. Come here. Oh, that's brilliant! Oh, that's brilliant! I'm just gonna go over here and do some stuff. I just gotta go over here and do some stuff. Look at all this laundry. I could really use this laundry to be done. Yep, definitely gonna do all this laundry. <laughs> I can trick my baby sister to copy me and do all of my chores. I I can do it, Molly. Okay, well, follow me. Okay, well, follow me. <laughs> My plan is working perfectly. Here you go, baby Kira. I'm doing all the chores. I don't like your chores, but they should do it if I do them too. Molly, your sister's too little to do chores. Wait, what? She can't do the chores. She can't reach the dials or anything. Are you trying to get your sister to do your chores for you? I just thought since she was copying me. Nice try, Molly, but you need to do your chores. But, Mom, she's copying me, and it's so annoying! Molly, she's your little sister. She looks up to you. Of course she's going to copy everything you do. You're like her hero. Wait, what? I am? Of course, Molly. Do you remember when you were little, thinking that people older than you were your hero? Maybe you don't, because you didn't have an older sister than you. But you and Daisy are like baby Kira's world. Wow, I never thought about it like that. Yeah, she's just copying you because she thinks you're the coolest person on the planet. Live it up now because she probably won't think that forever. Well, she may. I'm not really sure, but when kids are little, they're definitely going to think that you're the coolest because you're the older sister. Wow, that's, that's pretty amazing. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, Molly. Now be nice to your sister. Baby Kira, Baby Kira, where are you? Baby Kira. I, 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 I got in the washer. 
Oh my gosh, baby Kira, no! OMG! I'm gonna get you out of there! Hold on, I'll get you out! Hi, Marty. I love you. Oh, baby Kira, I love you too. You're the best little sister ever. What? I'm a little sister too! You're a big sister. No, you're the big sister. How rude. Daisy, I was just saying. Daisy! Goodbye! Wow, I guess she doesn't like that you're the favorite. Oh, Marty. I think this shirt sums up how I feel about homework perfectly. <laughs> I'm wearing it to school today. Totally. La 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 Marley, you are so loud in the morning. I swear. I just woke up and you're like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's what you sound like all day with me. Blah, 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 blah. Do your homework. Don't fart in class. <laughs> Marley, why well, you got to be such an annoying sister? I'm going over here to eat my breakfast. Girls, could there just be one morning before school where you get along? No, probably not. Yeah, if Daisy could stop being so annoying. Ugh, girls. Hey, Mom, I know what would make us in a great mood. Okay, Molly, what is it? Anything at this point. Um, wait, what's this for breakfast? Ah, I dropped it on the floor. Oh, Mom, can you make me something else? I just dropped my food on the floor. Oh, Molly. Yes, okay. Um, I was wondering, Mom, could we have a sleepover? I don't know, Molly. You got detention this week. No, but I did my homework last night. Molly, did you really? You're wearing a shirt that says... I don't like homework. Um, I mostly did it. Oh, okay, <laughs> now I have my food. Didn't it look like I was flying across the room? Oh, <laughs> there's my food from earlier. I could eat it like a dog. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah. Molly, get in your chair and eat like a normal human being, please. Uh, no promise. Anyway, just because my shirt says I don't like homework doesn't mean I didn't do it. Collection, we didn't have any homework last night. Exactly. So I technically didn't not do my homework. Ay, ay, ay. I'm taking out the trash. Well, Mom, can we please have a sleepover, please? Whoa, you're actually on my side about this, Daisy? Yes, I am. It's a sleepover. Okay, a small sleepover. One or two friends. Yay! Okay, Mom, I'm taking this to go, okay? All right, have a great day. Thanks, Mom. Brookie, look! We got to school at the same exact time! <gasps> Whoa, crazy. It's like we're BFFs or something. <laughs> I just teleported here because, you know, Roblox and stuff. Whoa, wouldn't it be cool if you could teleport to school in real life? And also maybe teleport out of school when you didn't do your homework. Or you just really want to go to Starbucks and get something delicious. Uh, okay, Molly, whatever you say. No, for real! If you could teleport in real life, it'd be so cool. Right now, I want to teleport to McDonald's and have a Big Mac. And then I want to teleport to the water park. Oh, Molly, you do not in real life. You're in Roblox. Yeah, well, at least I can teleport here. Molly, maybe you should teleport your school books into your locker since it's completely empty. Um, I may have forgotten my books at home. Whoopsie. Oh, great, Molly. Don't tell me you're going to get detention again. I hope not because my mom said I could have a sleepover. And she said we could only invite like one or two people. And guess what, Bricky? You're on the list. Really? I am? Yeah, you're my BFF. Who else are we going to invite? I don't know. You get to invite one more person. Who are you going to invite in besides me? I don't know. Definitely won't be sealed with a bully. I got an invite to a sleepover. What are we going to do? Are we going to eat popcorn? Are we going to watch scary movies? Check and check. Whoa, the bell. Come on, we don't want to be late. Well, if you forgot all your books, you kind of want to be late because you don't want to get in trouble. Language class. I'm terrible at this. Good morning, everybody. Bonjour. Bonjour, teacher. Did everyone do their French homework last night? Um, but, but you said we didn't have homework. Just kidding. Molly, I'd like you to say a sentence in French, please. Uh -oh. Stand up in front of the class. Okay, um... Je suis un zapper! 
<laughs> Molly! Okay, no laughing at the class, please. I mean, class, no laughing at the student, please. I mean, you know what I mean. Wow, you can speak French, but your English is not that great right now. Well, okay, you're just making me feel frazzled. Don't tease each other, please, Molly. Try the sentence again, please. Okay, I thought I made it pretty clear. Je suis un sapeur. Molly, you just said I am remote control. <laughs> well, I might be part robot. You never know. Oh, boy. Okay, Molly, take a seat, please. We have a new student coming today, and I want everybody to be polite. She doesn't have any friends here yet, and she could use some. Her old school had a bit of a crazy thing happen, and the school got shut down. The school shut down? Are you serious? Wow. Why'd she come here then? If my school shut down, I wouldn't go to a new one. I'd be like, hallelujah, school is shut down. Best day ever. Molly, you may take your seat now. No, I'm serious. I'd be like, what? Do you want me to try to say that in French? Kwa, kwa, kwa. Wow. Congratulations. You learned how to say one word in French. Uh, I guess I'm getting through to you somehow. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. I'm going to do awesome on the test. Hmm, uh, here's hoping, Molly. Wait a minute, we had a test? I didn't know about a test. What's she talking about? Ow. Oh, Daisy, don't freak out. There's no test. I'm just saying, when there is a test, I'm going to do well on it. <sighs> yeah, I don't think so, Molly. Would you like me to say that in French? Um, no. Vous avez a chewy. What? Exactly, Molly. Oh, there's the new student now. Hi, Emily. Welcome to our school. Um, uh, hi. Whoa, she doesn't look too happy. Maybe if I'm friends with her, she'll be happy again. Hey, Emily, you can sit by me. My name is Molly. Um, okay, thanks. So, Emily, uh, you sad about moving to a new school? I'm just sad around people these days. What? Sad around people? Yeah. Something really terrible happened at my last school. <gasps> it did? Um, is everyone okay? No, no one is okay, except for me. I don't know how it even happened, but I have a guess. Um, I'm sorry something so terrible happened at your school. Um, hey, uh, my sister Daisy and I are really cool, nice people, and we're having a sleepover at our house tonight. Would you like to come? Really? You want me to come to your sleepover? Um, yeah. <laughs> sure, why not? I'll, um, text you my address. No, I, I don't have an iPhone. Don't text me. You could just send me a note. What? If we get caught in school with notes? <laughs> no passing is an immediate detention. Okay, well, you can just tell it to me at lunch and I'll write it in my notebook. Wow, harsh. Her parents didn't even get her a phone. <laughs> Man, parents these days. <laughs> We did pick up friends who could heal. This is getting boring. I don't know, but they said they'd be here soon. So, you know, chill out. Molly, I don't know how to be chill. I like to do things. I don't like being a couch potato like you. Ow. And look who it is. Brookie. La, 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 da, da. Hey, Brookie. Oh, and Emily, too. <gasps> Come on in, girls. Let the party start. Molly, are you going to make us popcorn and pizza? And are we going to watch scary movies? Ah! Yes, yes, and yes. I will go get the pizza now. It's cooking in the oven. Holy cheesy pizza, does that smell good. Oh, that's making my stomach growl. <laughs> I can't wait to eat this pizza. I'm waiting like one piggy waits for another. Molly, you should wait for our friends. They should get the first piece. But I'm hungry. Molly, don't be rude to our guests. Wow, this pizza is so good. Yay, Emily's smiling. I'm so glad to see you're happy right now, Emily. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, I don't know, a little scared that the same thing might happen in my new town as my old school town. What? Nah. I don't know what happened there. You can talk to us about it if you want. Or you don't have to, but we're cool. Everything's going to be fine here in this new town. You just wait and see. Yeah, Emily, we're so excited that you're a part of our school. Yeah, exactly. I have to snap this. What? Why do you have Snapchat open? Close that right now! I didn't say that I would be on Snapchat. Close it! What? Um, th 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 but, uh, but everybody uses Snapchat. Uh, not I. I! I don't use Snapchat. Close it right now! Whoa, Emily. What's up with the ad 
attitude. That's not very nice. My sister just wanted to take a Snapchat of this really nice sleepover with you. I, 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 I don't think I can stand this sleepover. Wait, what? No, Emily, what's wrong? Tell us what happened. Yeah, come on, tell us what happened, because you're being kind of rude, and I thought you were going to be a good friend, but now I'm not sure what's going on with you. Molly, I'm sure she has a good explanation. Okay, you guys are going to think this is crazy, but everybody in my school started disappearing one by one, and when they came back, they weren't the same. Weird, crazy, strange things happened around my school. Strange things? Yeah, some people, they never returned. Some people came back, and it was like they were possessed, evil. Like, like something was making them into a living puppet. <gasps> what? That can't be right. And what does a phone have to do with that? I just noticed that it would happen after someone put up a Snapchat. <laughs> ah, boring prank. Sounds like the oldest one in the book to me. What? I'm not pranking you. Yeah, boring. Oh, let's go watch the Scream movie. That's much scarier. I'm not pranking you. You have to believe me. Why do you think we moved to this town? Oh, Molly, I don't think she's kidding around. Sorry, I thought you were pranking me, Emily. I'm not pranking you. I'm telling you, you guys should never use Snapchat again. So this is why you don't have an iPhone. You're afraid of Snapchat? No. My parents are really old school. I never had a phone, which is probably why I'm the only one that didn't go crazy at my school. <laughs> Whoa, makes sense. Well, um, how do you know this is absolutely true though? Because Snapchat was the only thing that everyone had in common. Well, I say there's only one way to find out. Molly, put that phone away. You don't know what's gonna happen. Uh oh. Yeah, Molly. Well then, I think we should draw straws. Whoever gets the shortest straw has to test this concept by using Snapchat. I don't know if this is a good idea, Molly. Well, do you want to know if what happened to your classmates or not? We have to get to the bottom of it. Does everybody have their drink straw? Let me drink the strawberry shake first. <laughs> Delicious. Okay, who has the shortest straw? Oh, no. I have the shortest straw. It's nothing. If you went to my old school, old school, you wouldn't have thought it was nothing. Well, come on, let's make a Snapchat. No, I'm not gonna be in it. This thing might spread, and then I don't want to be possessed. Okay, Daisy. Well, you're on your own. Good luck with the demons. Ow. What? Okay, fine. I'll go into the bathroom and I'll Snapchat fail. Nobody wants to hear you <laughs> fart, Daisy. I'm not gonna take a Snapchat of me farting, cheapos. Molly. Do you think that this is real? Well, Emily says it is. Guys, you need to believe me. It's real. Okay, Emily, we believe you, but we still want to test it, okay? Because maybe it was just a coincidence. Your sister's never going to be the same uh -oh. after this. It was nice knowing you, Daisy. I don't know what the fuss was all about. Oh, ah! she's going to be crazy. I'm not crazy. Nothing bad even happened. Check your snaps. Okay. Um... Daisy, you seem pretty normal. Let's go into stories and see. Oh, why can't I use my Snapchat right now? I don't know what's wrong with me. Not working. Weird. Here we go. Daisy, I don't, I don't see anything. Wait. What's that behind Daisy? What, what do you mean what's behind me? Guys, look at your snaps. Something really weird is happening. I don't have a phone, so I can't see, and I'm glad about it. I don't want to see anything. I see it, and, and it looks like there's some sort of creepy puppet behind Daisy. What? No, that's not. I took that snap myself, and there was nothing there. Um, Daisy, are you pranking us? No, I'm not pranking you. Go look at the bathroom. There's no creepy puppet in there. She's right, guys. There's nothing in here. Well, then where did this creepy puppet thing come from in your snap? I don't know, but I'm going to test the theory and see if it shows up on my Snapchat. 
That's such a bad idea, guys. Please. I can't lose my new friends, too. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. I'm just going to go out here in the garage and take a snap. I'm sure nothing's even happening right now. La, 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 la. Hmm. I see absolutely nothing. Hey, everybody. I'm just taking this snap because um, my new friend Emily said that if you use Snapchat, it basically possesses you. And I just I want to say that I think it's a myth because I don't see anything on my snap. And But Daisy saw something on hers. And I don't know. It was, might have just been a glitch or something. So I'm sending this to everybody so they can see nothing is there. There! I sent it, guys! <coughs> Take a look at your snaps! Um, Molly? This is it good! The puppet is behind you, too! <coughs> yeah, Molly, I see it on my screen, too. Huh? What? Let me see that. Oh, my God! This is about to happen to me again! You guys are gonna disappear, and then, and then you're gonna turn evil! I just know it! Emily, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure that there's just some sort of explanation for this no one's gonna disappear <laughs> molly daisy just disappeared <laughs> what D daisy where'd she go she vanished right in front of my eyes molly that means you have less than 10 minutes until you vanish uh oh That's about the time between your snapchats oh um gee <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it molly you made a snapchat and the puppet is coming for you. <gasps> the puppet? Now this creepy thing has a name? Well, it shows up as a puppet. I never knew that before. Why? I... Why'd you let us do this? Why? I tried to stop you, but you wouldn't listen. Oh, my God. I'm going to disappear, and then I'm going to come back evil. Don't worry, Molly. I'm your best friend. I'm going to try to figure this out. I... I hope. Well, what do I do for ten minutes? <coughs> I know. I gotta have a snack because if I'm gonna be evil, I might not remember what it tastes like to eat something delicious. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake. Milkshake. <laughs> gotta put it in my tummy before I disappear. Molly, only you would be disappearing in like five minutes and you'd be eating food before you disappear. <coughs> well, I mean, priorities. <coughs> oh my god! <coughs> Molly disappeared! <coughs> you guys this is going to happen but the puppet he came for both of them but she was my best friend yeah but you didn't make a snap so maybe we can figure this out together i hope so emily i really hope so hello emily nice to see you um ah oh, it's the snapchat puppet emily what are we gonna do maybe we could talk sense into her it is still Daisy, right? I don't know. I don't like this, Emily. I don't like this at all. You shouldn't like it. Because... I'm the Snapchat puppet. Ha 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 I don't know what to do. My best friend is going to show up as a Snapchat puppet next. <laughs> Why are you crying, little baby? Now come with me, Emily. You're what we want. What? Why me? Why me? Because you got away from the last school, but you won't escape now. Now, look at Snapchat Puppet. Where am I? I don't know where I am. <laughs> Welcome to your nightmare. Am I in math class? What's going on? This is where you live forever with me. The Snapchat Puppet. Wait, what? You brought me to math class? Oh, God. This is really the worst. What do you want from me? You will be one of me. A Snapchat Puppet that will rule the world. Um, well, um, that sounds boring. Mm. Mm. What are you doing? I'm eating a cookie there, Ignoramus. What's it look like I'm doing? Why are you eating a cookie? I'm about to possess you. Aren't you scared? Um, not really. Because I'm just not. I'm not really scared of much, actually. Except for living without cookies. But since there's cookies in this crazy nightmare place, I'm good. What? No, you have to be afraid. 
in order for me to possess you. Well, good luck with that. Hmm. You're not that scary. You're like a Snapchat puppet or something? Like, what is that even? Are you making fun of me? W what? Um, well, if you're gonna bring me to math class and try to bully me, then I'm pretty much gonna be like... <laughs> did you just fart? Um, yeah. <laughs> I did. Mostly because I think this is so ridiculously stinky. Now let me out of here right now. No. You will be a Snapchat puppet, whether you like it or not. Now be afraid. Okay, Mr. Snapchat Puppet, let me tell you something. I've been playing Roblox for a real long time. I've faced Chucky. I've faced, uh, let's see, almost every Abby ever created. I escaped Evil Granny. Ooh, she was a creepy one. Uh oh. Piggy, Siren Head. Would you like me to go on? What? I'm the evilest one of them all on Roblox. <laughs> Not even close. Have you seen our Bloody Mary video? <laughs> Still gives me chills. You guys should watch that one if you haven't seen it. Anyway, back to this evil Snapchat puppet. I'm not afraid of you. Now, how do we get out of here? You can't. Actually, I just opened the door. Uh -oh. This isn't even an alternate dimension. It's just at my school. You're a lame bad guy. Bye. Ow. Emily, Brookie. Oh, my God. Daisy? <gasps> oh, Molly. Please, don't try to hurt us. What? What are you talking about? I'm fine. Wait, what? Emily, stop crying. Why is she normal? I don't like that. Um, Daisy, enough with this Snapchat puppet thing. Oh my gosh, she wants me. It's the only way to make the Snapchat puppet go away and to give me your sister back. Wait, what? No, I'll just offer her a cookie. She loves these. Daisy, here, eat this cookie. I don't think so, little girl. <laughs> I've got your sister. Now give me Emily or else. What's so great about Emily? She has powers to <laughs> see the future. Seriously? Is that true, Emily? Well, um, maybe a little. Well, you didn't mention that. It's okay. I'll go with the Snapchat puppet. No, we're not doing that. Yes, you are. Say goodbye to your friend Emily. She already agreed. Wait, what? Emily? Snapchat puppet, you bring back our new friend! Here's your lame sister. Ha 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 ha. What a nerd. She just kept thinking about science this entire time. Daisy? Daisy, say something! I love science. I love it. What, what happened? Daisy, are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright, but what happened? The Snapchat puppet, it possessed you. I can't believe this. Where, where's Emily? I don't know. Oh my god, I don't even know what to do. Wait a minute, I do. Molly, why do you not like your phone right now? This is such a bad idea. Because I have a feeling that Emily's gonna be stuck inside Snapchat. I don't see her, Molly. Where is she? I don't see her weevil. She's she's not gonna show up on Snapchat. Guys, the puppet, he's got me. No, there she is, she's on our Snapchat. Emily, just try to resist. Don't give in to the Snapchat puppet. It's no use. I'm one with him now. I'm one with the Snapchat puppet forever. I see. I'm home at my mansion. Ah, I could have just chill, maybe get in the pool. You know. Hey! Somebody let me in! The security system doesn't seem to be working. Hello? Hello? Oh, my family just bought this house. And for some reason, the security system just doesn't work for me. Thank you, baby Kiwa. Jeepers. My little baby sister had to let me into my own house. <laughs> but this is my new house and it's amazing. I love it. Hey, how was school today? It was good. Um, but mom, are you gonna make us go to a private school? Wait, what? No. Why? Because we're really rich and I thought that's what you do. You go to private school. 
no, you girls can still go to public school with all your friends. That's fine. Yeah, um, and also our school is a really good one, right, Mom? Yeah, it's a pretty good school for, for you know, this area. Oh, the better schools? If not, why aren't we at it? And Molly, why you look so grumpy? Ah! Because I'm still waiting for dinner to be done. And I asked Mom when the cook gets here, and she said that she has the stomach bug, so she can't cook for us. Ow! And Mom has to cook. And Mom it takes forever when she cooks dinner. What? The cook has a stomach bug, but Mom was starving. Look at Molly, her face is so sad. Oh my gosh, girls, you can wait 30 minutes for dinner. Yeah, I guess I can. Hey, Mom, can I take a snap with you? Sure you can, Daisy. Why do you want to take a snap with me? Um, you'll see, because I have to ask you a question. Oh no, what is it? This isn't truth or dare, is it? No, Mom, the question is, um... You're gonna buy me the new iPhone, right? Wait, what? No, Daisy, I just bought you a new iPhone two months ago. I know, but a new one came out and I absolutely need it. It has a slightly better camera. And my phone case won't work, so I need a new phone case. Daisy, no, I just I just bought you an iPhone. Okay, you said no. I'm gonna send it to everybody in town to show you how mean my to show them how mean my mom is. What? Daisy, don't do that. Well, then you should probably get me the new iPhone. Uh-oh. Mom! Mom, um, I was wondering, can I buy this um new video game on Roblox? I need some Robux. No, I just gave you ro money for Robux yesterday. Ooh. Well, Mom, you have a lot of money. Give us more. Mom, I want to buy this game on Roblox, and I need more Robux. What did you spend your Robux on in one day? Um, well, uh, um, you know, just a bunch of stuff. Well, you'll have to wait until next week. And no, Daisy, you're not getting a new phone. Okay, I'll send everybody that Snapchat if you beat the mean mom. The mean mom? What? I do so much for you girls. I get your boy, you get your boy. I'm on your pacifier, mama. I get your boy. I'm your pacifier. Aww. What's wrong with the pacifier you got in your mouth? She saw an advertisement for one that's made out of gold. What? You're not getting a gold pacifier? Are you kidding? Besides, gold pacifiers probably taste disgusting. Yeah. She wants it though, Mom, and shouldn't she get it? Why are you standing on the table, baby Kira? It's like I've raised a bunch of animals. You both, all of you, 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 and you are spoiled, spoiled, and also little miss spoiled. Ooh. What? No, we're not, Mom. So... We're not spoiled, we're just, well, um, we have money. Yeah, Mom, we have some money. Correction. I have some money, and so does it your dad. You're the kids, so you have no money because you haven't earned it. What? Mom? Sorry, but you kids are spoiled. Do you even know what it's like to live as a poor person? Um, no, but I don't really want to. <laughs> oh, that's it. You girls have an assignment. This is at school. Yes, it is. And until you complete the si assignment, you're both grounded. I could get a good pacifier. You did it, you did it. No, baby Kira. No, you're not. Okay, what's the assignment? And then can I have some Robux? Ha ha ha. No. And then you can stop being grounded for being spoiled. Whoa. Something tells me she's the weird strict mom. Yes, yes, I am. Now, your assignment is. Sorry, Mom, I, I can't talk to you right now. Someone texted me. Uh-oh. Molly! What? I, I've got to talk to Brookie. She needs me. Molly, you're grounded. Until you complete your assignment, which is I want you each to go out and see what it's like to live as a poor person. Whoa, 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 whoa. And also, no. Well, complete it or you're grounded for life. Whoa, grounded for life. Okay, I guess I better do the assignment. I don't know why my mom thinks I'm so spoiled. I mean, doesn't everyone have this calamitous pool? Daisy, you're not hanging out in the pool. You're grounded. Oh, boy, I can't even get in my pool. Doesn't everyone have this beautiful backyard where you can cook out in? Daisy, don't even think about cooking out. You're grounded. Oh, I'm grounded from everything. Look at this adorable pool house. 
Um, well, actually, now my dad uses it as a garage because he was like, I don't have any way to store the lawn mower. So anyway, it was a cute little pool house, but now it's not. Daisy, did you start working on your assignment? Whoa, she really is the wheel strict mom. Ah! Hey, everybody, it's me, Daisy, and I'm grounded for being spoiled. Isn't that <gasps> ridiculous? I think that's totally ridiculous. And I just want to say that... Um, basically, I don't think I'm that spoiled, but my mom said I'm grounded until I can see some evidence of how poor people live. So, um, yeah, I'm downtown just looking for poor people. So far, no one looks poor, so I don't know what she's talking about. Phew, what's that horrible smell? Yeah. What, what is that guy doing? Did he just, like, fall? Have you fallen and kick it up? Ooh, I found this, this smell. It's coming from that guy. Well, there's a lot of flies around me. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Why are you talking so loud? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Go away. Um, sleeping under a park bench? That's not a great place to take a nap. It is when you live here. Um, why do you live here? Where's your house? Uh, I'm too poor for one. Oh, wait, could I just Snapchat this for a second? Hey, um, it's me, Daisy. Mom, I found my first poor person. What? Hey, that's not very nice. Could you talk to me a little nicer? Oh, sorry about that. Um, you see, I'm very rich. Thanks for rubbing that in. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just saying, I'm rich, and my mom said I'm a brat, so I have to understand what it's like to live as a poor person. Okay, well, come have a seat then. Um... Okay. Now sit here all day. What? Uh, why? Because you've got nowhere else to be. You don't have a house. Oh. Well, at least it's nice out. Wait till it rains or snows or hurricanes. Uh, yeah, that's not very nice. Have you got any change? Um, no. I just have a credit card. My mom and dad pay for it. Wow, you are spoiled. What a brat. <gasps> That wasn't very nice. Well, I guess you're just rude then. No, you're just spoiled, so you don't like to hear the truth. Really? Yeah. Now give me 50 cents. I'm hungry, and I want to go get a Twinkie from the, the convenience store. Um, yeah. Okay, I think I have like a dollar. I thought you only had a credit card. Wow, you're spoiled and a liar. I'm not a liar. I just... I never think that I have, like, a dollar in my pocket. But I actually found three dollars. Whoa, jackpot! Yeah, I hope things get better for you. Um, what's your name? You can call me Smelly. That's what everyone else calls me. Oh, I'm sorry, Smelly. Um, but, uh, yeah, have a nice life. You too, rich girl. Bye! OMG, I can't believe it. I just ran into my first poor person and, um, well, um, oh, I don't know why I did that. I was trying to be serious. There's no serious here. Okay. Um, and it was kind of sad. Lives on that park bench. He had a lot of flies around him. I gave him three dollars. I never thought that my life was different than everyone else's, but I guess it is. Hey, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get you started for you today? Uh, yeah, um, let's see. Let me get a cappuccino and a, uh, oh god, I want all of the sweets. Well, do you have money to pay for them? Of course I do, duh. Do you think I'm, like, poor or something? Um, no, but there are people in this town who can't afford this delicious stuff. It's too expensive. Oh, well, yeah. My mom basically told me I have to find those people and find out how they live. Oh, well, you can probably go see Lou. He lives down at the marina. He doesn't have a house. Wait, what? He doesn't have a house? No, he doesn't. Um, okay, let me just get your order for you. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Whoa, are you Lou, the homeless guy? Um, yeah, who's asking? Me, Molly, the spoiled rich girl. Oh, that cookie smells so good. Uh, yeah. It was delicious. Uh, do you think I could have the rest? What? No. This is my cookie and I'm hungry. 
Oh, when was the last time you ate? I ate about an hour and a half ago. This is just a snack. <laughs> I eat a lot. The last time I ate was two days ago. And it was a rotten, um, I think, hot dog and moldy bread. Ew, gross! <laughs> Why are you in that trash can? Well, see, when I duck down, basically people don't see I'm in the trash can. And then they throw their rotten food in here, and then I can eat it. Whoa, that sounds... Terrible. <gasps> yeah, that's why I asked if I could eat your cookie. I'm starving. Oh, Lou, I'm I'm sorry. Um, I still have to eat this cookie. I'm starving. You're spoiled. What? No, I'm not. I just have money to buy a cookie, and you don't. That's so rude. You're gonna eat it right in front of me? Why are you so mean? Uh oh. Um, because I just love cookies, but I think I have like some Swedish fish stuck to the inside of my pocket that were from last week at school, but I've washed these pants, so they might taste a little bit like laundry soap. Okay, well, I guess beggars can't be choosers. I'll take them. Oh, I'm um, sorry. Yeah, I actually ate those uh, yesterday morning. What? But you promised me them! Sorry, but I love Swedish fish, even if they've gone through the washing machine. Well, have a nice life! Ugh, thank you. Well, I feel kind of bad eating that cookie in front of him and not giving him any snacks. I mean, he doesn't have any food. I think my mom might be right. Like, I do live, like, a lot differently than other people. I think I'm going to use my allowance to get him some food. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Oh, it's you again. What are you doing back? Are you still hungry after that cookie? I met Lou. Man, his situation is really bad. Ow. Maybe I am spoiled. Well, it looks like you're getting over being spoiled. It looks like you bought him a bag of groceries. Yeah, I have like a dollar left. Is that enough to get a cookie? <gasps> well, they're a dollar fifty, but since you're being so nice, I'll put in the fifty cents. Oh, thank you so much. I think he's gonna love all this delicious food. Sure is better than eating the stuff in the trash can. You're a good kid. Uh, I think I'm starting to become one. What's she doing back here? Ugh, she brought a whole bag of groceries to eat in front of me? Kid, you're just cruel. No, Lou, I'm not going to eat this in front of you, although this bread smells so good. It's for you. Aww. What? All this food is for me? Yeah, it's it's all for you, Lou. <laughs> Look at this breadstick! It's enormous! has pizza on Friday nights and uh, we always have an extra couple slices. I'm going to start bringing some down for you. Really? You do that for me? Yeah, of course. You can count on it. Will you be here? Yep, living in my trash can. It's a good life. Um, okay, if you say so. Well, enjoy those groceries. Wow, an apple. I haven't had something healthy in, I don't know, ten years. Wow, Lou. Well, I'll see you Friday with the pizza, okay? Sounds good. Thanks, Molly. Today has been the craziest day of my life. I learned <laughs> so much about poor people, homeless people, people that are different than me. And it makes me want to help people a lot more and well, be a lot less spoiled. At first, I thought this assignment for my mom was totally crazy. And it made me kind of annoyed. But now, I see why she did it. So, um, I guess... Thanks, man. Okay, I finished my assignment. I guess I have to go see what my mom has to say. And then this guy Lou was doing a trash can dance. Wow, Molly, this snap is really good. Um, you are released from being grounded. I loved the idea that you actually were gonna take in pizza every Friday night. Mom, I just wanna thank you for this crazy assignment. Wait, what? Thank you? Yeah, I learned that I was acting kind of spoiled and that there's people who really just could use my help sometimes. I met this man, he lives on a park bench. I gave him the three dollars in my pocket so he could get a candy bar or a snack. It's all the money I had, but maybe we could take him a piece of pizza on Friday too. I love this idea, girls. And so you don't want a new iPhone? No, this one's just fine. Yeah, Mom, um... But, um, 
Can I still get some Robux? Molly! What? I want to play the new Roblox game! I think you being grounded is quite enough. Uh, well, uh, okay. But can I have some Robux tomorrow? Ooh. Molly! How about the next day? Molly! <laughs> some things my sister will never learn about. 